Dude, I don't know what it is about music from the 60s, but I freaking I love it, dude. It's no Simon, you're a Donatato, okay? Look, I fixed everything. Uh, I've been working, okay? Dude, I, I was actually up, like, ridiculously late last night. I couldn't sleep. I was like, you know what? I'm doing it. I'm doing everything. I'm fixing it all. Um, so the death counter's fixed. The controller's fixed. Uh, the audio's fixed. The freaking screen transitions are fixed. You name it, baby. It's on. We're, we're gaming today. We're doing things. We're winning. <laughs> I even started without my mic muted today. How about that? Um... <laughs> How long is it gonna take till I rage from this boss fight, though? <laughs> uh, man, I, I don't. Where did we leave off? I feel like there should be something more to this, like, back area. Like, this upper floor back area. I just think it loops around and does nothing. Wait. Whoa, you can't see my... I, okay, well, hold on a second. I thought everything was fixed. <laughs> what the heck? What? Elden Ring, what is going on? Why is it zoomed in like that? All right. <laughs> I thought I fixed everything. What happened? I'm glad you said that. Uh, let's just try resetting Elden Ring. It's not my display. It's not... What the heck? Oh, God. Wait, app is currently running. No, it's not. It's closed. Yes, stop Elden Ring. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, no. Okay, wait. We... Give it just some time. Give it some time. Um, I think that may have been an Elden Ring thing. No, it had to be an OBS. No, I don't know, because I could see it on my screen, and my display on OBS is clean and not. There's nothing wrong there. Whoa. Whoa. What the heck? What the heck? What is going on? Uh, hold on, we're gonna figure this out. This is an Elden Ring issue. Wait, no, it fixed it on my display now. But it's not fixed on OBS display. Oh boy. What if I try this? What if I try a different display? Something's wrong. I've never seen this happen before. Dude, there's literally there's a problem every single time I try to do anything ever. Alright, we're gonna try to start it back up one more time. If that doesn't work, I'm gonna uninstall and reinstall the game. Um, it won't take but a couple of minutes. We can sit here and listen to some music and, and jam out and chat about something stupid. Ah! Something's... Something be afoot right now. It, like, it fixes itself on my end of things... What's up, Hex? How you doing? Uh, 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 uh. 
I'm going to uninstall it and reinstall it. It won't take long. Let's listen to some music while we uh we wait. I don't know. What be going on with you guys? How's everybody doing? Do you guys do the air guitar? Am I the only one? Am I, uh, is that a me thing? Am I the only one that does like the air guitar with the, the, the kazoo? <laughs> Alright. We're getting there. Elden Ring is a big game. Uh, we are at 21 out of 42 achievements on Elden Ring. Oh, it doesn't even tell you the locked achievements. You just have to find them. Oh, no, it, it does. Okay, so there's 16 hidden ch achievements. You got the what? Hex, I hope you feel better, dude. Or if you don't feel like crap and you just got it, man. I guess congratulations. Um, either way, dude, I wish you the best. I did. I Dude, I, I was up so late last night fixing everything. And it looked fine. I didn't have any issues until I opened up Elden Ring. <laughs> uh, what are you going to do, man? It happens. Every day it happens. So we have to acquire all legendary Ashen Remains. Acquire all legendary armaments. Acquire all legendary talismans. All legendary sorceries and incantations. And then there's one for all achievements. But then there's 16 hidden achievements, which I'm assuming is boss fights. We're about 30% of the way downloaded. We're cruising. We can't breathe through your nose. Welcome to my life, dude. I, I don't think I've ever had a single day where I have been able to breathe through my nose. Sometimes. Very rarely. <laughs> I'm guessing they're all boss fights. What else would it be, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what a tough life. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Only 42% of players have defeated the Godskin Noble. Shardbearer Arrakad. That's the guy we just beat last time. The Snake Man. The lobster skin for Cameron? Nice. <laughs> That's actually one of my favorite skins, dude. I like that one. I've been trying to get Zach to play Smite, um, but he's like, nah, dude, Smite 2's coming out. And I'm like, do you have any idea how long it's gonna be till Smite 2 comes out, dude? <laughs> It's gonna be like a long time. All right, while we're just hanging, let's um. Whoa, that's not it. Let's look it up. Oh, it's supposed to be spring this year. Oh no no no. The the closed alpha will launch in spring of this year, which is basically now. But I never heard back. I did apply to get into the alpha, but I never heard back from it. So we may not be playing it. 
What's Capri double A? Uh, I don't know what double A it means. Auto attack? Uh, you play auto attack Capri? Is that what you're telling me, dude? <laughs> Give it two years. Yeah, an alpha release is going to be a while, right? Because we need to go from alpha to beta and then from beta to release. So, uh, uh, yeah, two years is probably a, a decent estimation. Um, it's fine. That's fine. I want them to get it right. I don't want them to rush it out and be like, hey, um, we can't wait to get Smite 2 released. So here it is half baked. Nah, dude, do it right. Take your time with it. We'll wait. Um, Smite 1 is just fine right now. You make it work? I mean, to be fair, like, Capri Auto Attack's not bad. Because you have so much CC. I mean, you definitely, you gotta go Toxic Blade. For the, the anti-heal and the attack speed. And the movement speed. Uh, movement speed is gonna be super valuable. Um... I don't know, what else do you go? You can go Shogun's for some defensive capabilities and some more attack speed. I think Shogun's got, like, a massive buff. A half-baked bake Baki Kujira. Basically, right? I mean, you're not going to apply the buffs to your team like Baki does. Um, and you don't really get the haste either, right? So if you build attack speed, you don't move faster while you're attacking. But um, you put a katana on there, dude. I forget which katana. I think it's Hasten's katana, which allows you to, like move really quickly while auto attacking that would actually be kind of disgusting like a freaking a capri that you can't get rid of like he's just on your tuchus the whole game come on man i was supposed to be playing Elden ring let's right now let's go let's go let's go let's go if this doesn't fix it i'm gonna be kind of upset i won't know how to fix it I wonder, no, it, it can't be, it's definitely not an OBS problem, because I had the same issue on my monitor, not just the OBS display. Uh, uh, it's got to be an Elden Ring issue, so if, if uninstalling and reinstalling doesn't fix it, I don't know. It does have, it doesn't have an update. There, it wasn't like it needed to be updated. I guess we could try- well, I didn't have any issues yesterday with games. Like, we played, I don't know, three or four different games in between today and yesterday. So it's gotta be an Elden Ring issue. This ought to fix it. It would- it should fix it. Warriors X, Thebes, Shoguns, Berserkers, Demonic, Toxic Blade. Wait, wait, where's your- oh, he's not a physical character, so he can't get the hastened katana. Huh. I didn't think about that. Um, I mean, you kind of need the Hasten Katana in there, though. At least it would be really beneficial if you had it, right? If you could. Dude, I want to see them go back to that. I, I want to see Smite go back to being, like, mi mixing the variability between the physical and the magical attack damage. Um, like what Predecessors does, man. Um, both, oh, every single character in Predecessors has two types of damage. They have magical damage and they have physical damage. Every now and then there's a character that only has one or the other, right? Um, but generally, your abilities are magic and then your physical attacks are physical, right? Um, and that allows you to build your character very differently according to the items because every single item has different trees that go up and have like physical on this side, magical on this side, allowing for so many different like combinations of builds. I love that stuff. Yeah, if you have enough CC, you don't really need the, the Hasten Katana. You hate multiplayer games? Oh yeah, dude, it, it, it's so difficult to get Platinum. Dude, you know, some of the the easier games to get Platinum on um, were Far Cry games, until they started releasing, like, multiplayer for uh, Far Cry. It's so stinking hard to get the achievements on multiplayer Far Cry games so hard dog like because no first of all nobody plays multiplayer far cry like who's out there doing that except for the people that are hunting trophies right um so 
that's a that like makes the matchmaking all the more difficult. But the challenges will be like win thirty games. It's like, bro, I can barely even find one game to matchmake. <laughs> How am I supposed to find thirty games, let alone win them? All right. Let's go, Elden Ring. Cooperate with me, baby. Cooperate with me, baby. Come on, Elden Ring. Do it. Don't do it to me. Come on, Bandai. Who's a... Oh, you had a nut accuse you of cheating? Wait, while you were playing Capri? <laughs> no! What? What's the display about? Why is it doing this? Something's wrong. Uh, wait, it fixed it on my side of things, but it didn't fix it on OBS. What's up, Dream Master? Ever see this happen before, dude? Fixed it. Your boy's a genius, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, guys, uh, we can use controller now. Those screens grow up fast. Yeah, no kidding, dude. <laughs> I think we're good now. Um, something to do with full screen windows? I I've never had that happen before for any game I've ever played. That was super weird. Uh, but, Big Brain Beaver? <laughs> yeah, I had to shave my head to let my brain out, okay? Because now I can use it, now that it's not covered up. I just need to wear a tinfoil, or else, like, Hex will get me. Um, okay, now that we're playing the game, where do we leave off? I think there was a boss fight. If we go all the way through that area, and then hook a left. You, sir, were a pain in my bahooky. He likes to throw his, his arm through walls. All right. And then we went. Oh, what's this? The snake guy? We already killed the snake. Um, we were fighting a worm. That's what we were doing. Okay, I, I'm just bad. <laughs> we need to warm up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so we go up the staircase, hook a left, go behind us. The snake guy was the other direction back in that, through that doorway. But this, I believe, is the last boss fight in the Volcano Manor. The Magma Worm, that's right. That's his face. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, that's not a really good way to start the day. <laughs> hey, at least I have a brain. More than I can say for Hex. Pew, 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 pew. I'm just kidding, Hex. I'm just joking. <clears throat> Alright, you guys ready for running simulator? Boop. Boop. 
Wait. Magma worm. Magma worm. That's not the way to go. I'm lost. Hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Guest hall. This. I think if I go up here, it's faster to get there. I don't know where I'm going, to be honest. I think I'm a little bit lost. I think uh, the magma worm fight is actually down there, above my head. What was that about using a brain? The wondrous physic, I think, could probably be, be adjusted. But we'll try it as is. Hey, buddy, stay right there. Don't move. We're back on controller. Feels good. <laughs> Idiot. Excuse me. This guy. This is the fight. Come get some. <laughs> what, just because he's sick doesn't mean that he can't get roasted, okay? Nah, I, I love Hex. I wouldn't say things like that if I wasn't, like, uh, joking around. Like, if I actually felt that way, I wouldn't, I just wouldn't say it. Right? So, Simon, all the times that I'm just, like, really nice to you, it's because I actually hate you. And I don't want to upset you or hurt your feelings. <laughs> Come get it! Come over here! Doc oh, he's standing up. <laughs> I didn't expect this guy to be so agile. He one-shot me, dude? Well played, I guess. I don't know if I think that, like, constitutes a one-shot mechanic, but, well, you know, I'll take it. On a scale of 1 to 10, how loud is that water bottle? <clears throat> I like, like, I enjoy drinking out of a water bottle like that, but it's, like, obnoxious. At least on my end of things. Okay. <laughs> I can't remember what my flask is. I could probably set it up to like, help stagger the enemy faster. That would probably be a, a good help. I don't even think Hex is here anymore. <laughs> he comes in for like 30 seconds to talk about Smite, and he says something mean and then he leaves. That's right, you do roast me more than I roast you. That is that is correct, I'm not going to argue. <laughs> Man, the day that we find a boss fight that has a checkpoint next to it, 
is going to be a good day. Four to wait. Four to five? Four to five what? Four, four to five out of ten for uh, loudness on the water bottle. You know what the problem is? I'm playing on controller now. I got really good at playing on keyboard and mouse. And uh, now I don't know how to play. This guy is, uh, what if I brought him over here? Might be easier to fight over here. What? He doesn't want to fight over here? Yeah. is immune to fire damage, I think. So, like, this does nothing. It might heal him. Bring it over here, man. Give him some space. Just relax a little bit. No re reason to rush the end of this fight. That's it right there. Dude, dude that's the trick, man. You just take your time. Alright. Now, I guess that's technically not a boss fight. Um, it's more like a mini. Just because he doesn't have the health bar. But uh, that's a boss fight in my eyes. I want this. I don't know what it is, but it'll, it's probably trash. It's gonna be like... Like... Uh, watch. Butterflies. Uh, okay. I'll take a smithing stone. Alright, boys. What's next? Um... We covered... Yeah, we covered that whole castle. I remember that. Uh, I guess it's time to move to this. Whatever this place is. I forget what it's called. Uh, I'll tell you what. I see a cave. Uh, right there. 
we're gonna visit this little area as well. We're gonna do the whole outer segment. Um, just like the Attack on Titans, we're gonna take the first wall first, right? And then we'll move on from there. Uh, we're gonna hit this tree. And I don't know what this side entrance is. This may be a boss fight right there, I think. Let's start over here, though. That's kind of where we left off the last time we were, like, in that general area. We were like, okay, we made it this far. Let's go do the other stuff first. That is a thick wall, dude. Little bit of sheepies. Oh, dude, I can't wait to go to the sewers and get lost over and over and over again. I'm coming prepared this time. I'm bringing the, um, bringing the rainbow stones to drop on the ground and mark my path. Oh my gosh! Oh dude, I was so not ready for this. What's he doing? <laughs> Dude, he came out of nowhere. Where was he? He... Dude, there's no way he was just like sitting in the tree. He had to have come out of the ground. I don't know, I don't think I've ever seen that guy. That was crazy. Alright. We'll play Nasty Tree Guy. What's this? What you got? Give me something good, please. Give me a weapon. Something fun. <laughs> That's my cup of tea right there, baby. What is this? Ooh. <laughs> a colossal strike weapon, dude, with a C scaling on level one. One. It takes 60 strength, dude. Oh. Oh. oh, 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 oh. I'm kind of regretting upgrading the weapon I'm using now because this looks like a good time. <laughs> Where are my points allocated? Ah. Uh, I would need 20 more points in strength. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. That looks like a lot of fun. Because, dude, I, I don't... If you guys have been here um, from, like, you know, the previous episodes, you know I like this big old hammer. That actually scales as a B off of strength. It scales better. But it does do less damage. And it's lighter. It's actually, okay, so it's a great hammer, whereas this is a colossal weapon. <laughs> yeah, dude, I, I, look, Kratos would have been disappointed, um, but the problem is that uh, I don't have freaking x-ray vision, okay? I walked up on a group of enemies that was in a camp by themselves. That's a cool looking weapon, I like that. Thrusting sword. That's nice too, dude. Check that out. Huh. 
Man, we have so many unique weapons that I, I want to, like, dip my little slimy toes into. But, I just... <laughs> None of them are going to kill anything. Like, it's not going to do any damage unless we upgrade them all. Which, eh, is just not going to happen. I don't know, maybe we could... Maybe we could change our build here. Let's continue with what we have for now. Uh, but maybe we'll change our build in the near future. We do have a couple of larva tiers that we could use to change our build again. Um, but if I could stop dying and losing all my credits, then we'd probably be okay to just level up. Man, I just want to punch these trees and build a house. Ooh. Who wants it? These guys want smoke? I'll bust these jars up, dud. Like cookbooks, that's nice. The Golden Order Seal. Is that any cooler than what we got now? Scales off intelligence and faith. You can keep that. Not interested. I still don't know what these golden centipedes are used for, but they're not very common. Uh, excuse me. Holy crap. I got like the hiccups and the burps this morning. You don't want this. Okay. The weapon we're using now is friggin' outrageous. It sets enemies on fire and heals us when we kill them. How in the heck am I supposed to get down there? I guess somewhere all the way around. Caves usually have good stuff. Dude, Simon, have you heard anything about um, uh, God of War coming to PC anytime soon? Because, like, dude, every single day I think about it. Every day. It, like, it's one of the the most prominent things in on my mind. I just, I'm constantly thinking about God of War, uh, Ragnarok coming to PC. I, I, I want it to happen. I, I think I need it to happen. But I feel like I've been here before. I think I came through this cave once. No, wait. It might have been a different cave. It does feel awfully familiar. Where's he going? Easy. What are you guys doing? Sliming around. Dude, are you telling me I could have just jumped down here the whole time? Holy crap, dude! What a jump, man. Oh my gosh. Uh oh. Am I gonna make this? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not gonna make that. If you land in that, that, like, air pocket, it'll save you.
That's okay. I didn't really want to do that anyway. I'm excited to play Ghost of Tsushima, though. Um, that is supposed to be coming to PC, like, in a month or two. And, uh, I I'm a little bit concerned, because it's supposed to just be a PC port. Or, like, a... I don't know, I think that's what they call it, a, a PC port. It's like... Instead of, like, making the game for PC, they're just, like, taking it from the console, and then just, like, slapping it on into PC. I don't really know what all the differences are when it comes to, like, swapping games over like that, right? Um, but I, I know that there is a little bit of concern when it comes to quality and, uh, like, you know, potential crashes, things like, you know, uh, graphics and, and all that, right? Um, I, I hope it doesn't suck, but I'm totally gonna pick it up and, and play it, because that's a game that's been on, like, my mind for a while, and I just never got a chance to play it. I need those credits, unfortunately. So we're gonna do this again. There's so many people like me that just jumped down there and died. <laughs> uh, oh yeah. All right, we're gonna go the easy way here. If any of you guys were here for yesterday's stream, what'd you think of that game that we played? Um, after only up. I forget what it was called. It was fun. I liked it. I think we'll be coming back to it. It was something really, like really different. It was definitely a good change of pace. Um, it was just relaxing, dude. <laughs> it wasn't like, uh, you know, let, let's learn the mechanics, let's fight the bosses, let's get into it. It's just like, we're chilling, we're just exploring the world. And uh, learning the lore. It was good. We need more stuff like that. More of these like smaller indie games, just to kind of break up the pace a little bit now and then. like those. Mm. What are you sleeping over here for, man? Thank you. He fooled me. This is the tiniest cave I think I've ever seen. There's no way that's it. I hear more enemies. At what? No, this has to be a fake wall or something. I mean, we got a bell, a ball bearing, a bell bearing, bell ball bearing. Ah, ha, 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 yeah. That was a tricky wall, man. That one was hard to tell. 
They almost had me. Hello? Dude, I'm dying for the day that one of these elevators actually has something underneath of it. Nothing. No. Uh, what? Back off, buddy. Dude, I have so many stone sword keys still. I see you, you little creepy freaking bot, dude. What are you doing down there? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, we gotta get him to crack that. Alright, you guys are a problem. You gotta not do that. Do that again. Charge me over here. Did it work? Heck yeah, dude! Relax. Twelve thousand credits, okay. What you got in your corner over here? Ooh, somber. I'm looking for a boss fight though. I think I did miss one little hallway back up there. Up and away. Dude, that's crazy that the armor that we're wearing now, you can get it, like, almost immediately. You can go get it just immediately. Like, that's not an almost. You actually can. You can just run right to it. Um, okay, that was smooth. Um, and it's, like, the best armor that uh, I've come across so far. We have so much armor. Look, our inventory's packed. And this is still the best. Alright, I think this is the hallway up here that I missed. There's gotta be a boss fight soon. Be wary of a who what? Explosions. Explosions. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. A bunch of garbage. I'll take it. Am I tripping or like... The enemies that are dying without me even hitting them. Is that also healing me from my sword? Because that... 
That would be crazy. That'd be a little bit too much. I freaking knew it. Hold on, we'll come back to it. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. I'm blind. Now, how the heck am I supposed to get that to? No precious item. I've got to get it anyway. Ah. I, I, that wasn't that bad. Lightning increases. Cool. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you. Who said you guys could build stuff down here? This is a cave. Holy crap, we knocked him off his feet. This guy sucks. Who taught him how to fight, man? We got a great sword. I will take. <laughs> Some of these boss fights, man. I don't know. It's one thing about using a big sword like this. Like, this isn't even a colossal sword, it's just a great sword. Um, you get to stagger, like, a lot of enemies, and you just, like, keep hitting them. They can't do much. The problem is when you come up against, like, the, uh, the, the bigger, bigger enemies, and they're just like, nah, it doesn't hurt. <clears throat> I could have sworn we, we got a great sword. Oh, right here. Uh... I'm not a huge fan of intelligence. <laughs> you can't tell. Where in the heck am I? Whoa, dude. Okay. We're way out here. I don't think I've ever been to this. See what we got going on here boost damage negation and all physics we should keep that and the stamina recovery is very nice it's fine but if we are struggling on a boss fight we could probably change it to something else the divine tower of west altus that is yes that's correct that is right and this is left What's going on here, man? We're going up. I thought we'd go down. There was a checkpoint right outside, which makes me think that there might be a fight upstairs. Dude, I wish I had wallpaper that looked like that. In my house. Them walls is gorgeous. No trap? I don't believe you. Nice sword, dude. I see you rocking that God Slayer Grey sword. Yeah. Uh -huh. First off, nothing. What is he pooping off the edge of the tower? Okay.
I mean, we can't not grab it. Restore the power of the great runes. I, I don't have all the great runes yet, though. I'm missing a couple. I don't know if I should do this. We have to. We gotta do it all. I'm gonna jack up the quest line. Rikon's great rune. Okay. Is that it? That's it? I have more than Rikon's great rune. Yeah, we have this one. Restores HP upon defeating enemies. Does that mean a double up? A double up on that? <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. We did the cave. Let's pop back over here to this way shrine. And then uh, we'll probably like work our way up, talk to the finger crone lady, see if there's anything to the left, work our way back up and around, hit this tree, hit this over here, which I think is another boss fight. And then uh, it looks like there's something down in this corner as well. I bet you there's a cave over here. We've got a little bit of work to do before we get inside the capital, but not too much. All right, yeah, we went all over that direction to the right. Actually, I may have missed. Uh, I don't think there's anything on that corner. I say that and there's probably like something really cool. Oh, jeez. We're fine. He's not even scary. Okay, he's a little bit scary. That twin blade's a little bit dirty. That's what I was waiting for. Come get some baby. You suck. Oh, sick, dude. A great axe. Okay, so I was up in this corner. We're good. What you got going on up here? What the heck are these? Oh, two golden seeds. Very nice. These look like gigantic arrows of some kind. Or like spears. Something. I bet they're spears.
You guys don't know who you're messing with. <laughs> Accuracy over speed. That's what Kratos taught me. Dude, this game, like, continues to blow me away, man. Like, every single time you play it, uh, regardless, if you're, you know, j not just straight up following the pathway, if you can go anywhere in the map, you're going to find something new and interesting. Every time. Except for down in that corner, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like there's nothing there. Except maybe some butterflies, but forget about it. But there's just stuff crammed in every single crevice of this map. The whole game. Hi, you are alive. Uh-huh. <laughs> you gon' die, son. What happened? Sle he's sleeping, yeah. Well, he's not, now he's really sleeping. I don't know what this guy's looking for, but he doesn't have to worry about it. Okay, so that was our other entrance that we avoided. Alright, they are totally scared. They're running away from me. Sorry, guys. Are you guys cool? Do we have to fight? Alright, so I do want to go up the hill and check out what is just around that corner. I think our weapon does holy damage now. Is that gonna- No, it doesn't. It does not insta-kill. Maybe because it's not like actual holy damage, like so it's fire. And then... It's just physical damage from the blade. But I'm pretty sure with things like, um... Uh, I'll tell you, well, if I could... I think it's called the Cypher Pata. Where's it at? Things like this weapon, which are strictly faith-based and wholly damaged. There's nothing else, right? That, I believe, will, like, insta-kill enemies like that. They don't get back up. Uh, where's my sword at? 
Okay, yeah. But this one does not do holy damage. It's fire and physical. Whoa, what's he doing? He's gonna do it again. <laughs> He's flying, man. That's a cool attack. Alistair, hey, man. How you doing? It's always a pleasant surprise when you pop in, dude. Alastor! I don't know why I always gravitate towards, like, that specific, um, th like, accent. Is someone there a customer? Oh, are you well, blind? He's blind. How? He's blind. Shh, shh, shh. Golden Sunflower? Nah. I will actually take the perfume bottle, even though we're not using them yet. I think sometime in the near future we'll probably mess around with them. What? But I... I've been calling you Alistair. Look, it's, it's a difficult transition. You've been scythed for a long time. Alright, buddy. You know what has to happen, right? This far for your pillaging? No different than a plague. What I wanted was. Feels bad, dude. I hate killing them. I really do. It never feels good like taking out a merchant. Alright, that looks like it may have been just about it for up here. We're gonna go hit that Erd tree and kill the boss. It is a living Erd tree, I think. Is Wait, that's not the Erd tree I'm looking at. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> he rolls! That's adorable. Look at these little guys. Uh, uh, hey, hey, hey. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Dude, my, my eyesight does get worse and worse with every passing day. Bam. Love tap. That's a cool snail, dude. Use it like they're skull, or they're like skeletal snails, but they're using dead skulls as their shells. Fascinating. It's just bloody fascinating. Who needs health potions when you can just kill enemies? I'm trying to find, like, an enemy that's gonna be unique. Like, one of these guys is gonna turn into a freaking rune bear or something and, uh, drop, like, a... Um, I don't know. Like a larval tear or something. Okay. Well, not that guy. A winged crystal tear. I'll have to check that out. Where's my tree? Is this my tree? That's my tree. Gotta get down there. Oh, I see you. I see you. Oh, wait a second. 
Okay, so we don't have an Erd Tree Guardian like we normally do. We got a thick, girthy, beefy golem. Or, I guess he's like... I don't know what you'd call him. He's not a golem. Lieutenant Beaver. I was trying to like... <laughs> I was trying to... <laughs> okay, so... I need to work on that video, I, but I, I need to play Helldivers with Zack and Duck, and uh, I think Sharky talked about getting it too. Um, so like, I need footage, but I need footage with those guys, because they're fun, dude. They're, they make the game so much fun, dude. Like, bro, games are just, they're so much different when you're playing with your friends. So I'm hoping to get Zack all hopped up on caffeine this weekend, and uh, we're just gonna have a good time and we're gonna get some really good clips and footage and I'm gonna make like a really uh, I'm hoping to make it a unique video um, in the sense that like it's from the perspective of like a, a soldier like a hell diver that come back from duty and like he's just riddled with PTSD because he's been like just ramshackled by bugs and robots <laughs> and uh, I, I, it's difficult because like I wanted to, I wanted to like set up another camera, um, so that I could do like more than just the face cam perspective, right? Um, and that way I, I'd have to get props, which I, I don't really have the the ability for that, right? I, like, I want to buy props, like I want to get like a space helmet to like kind of act the part and, and stuff like that, and just like goof around and have a fun time with it. It it doesn't have to be serious. It just Fun, like dumb fun, right? Um, but uh, oh, yeah, yeah, ain't nothing, son. Um, what was I saying? Oh, but I, I can't like just go buy a million props. I could buy like a couple props here and there. Um. But they're gonna add up like very quickly, and I, I really shouldn't do that. <laughs> I do really enjoy like the voice acting though. It, it it's fun. It's silly. But I, I want to take like a lighthearted approach to uh, like the soldier coming back from the wars. You like the act, the voices? Uh, dude, I, I wish I could do more of that. Like, I feel like coming up with the lines is the hardest part. I'm afraid to like, <laughs> I'm afraid to put my face to it though. Cause like, I get really invested in the, in the lines. <laughs> like when I'm sitting here trying to like, uh, iron it out and like make it sound right. Like, I'm sure my face is, like, ridiculously funny looking. Because, like, you know, you gotta, you gotta feel the part. You gotta act the part. Oh, he's got some range, huh?
guys with the bow and arrow is so much more squishy. Yeah, that's better. Yo, what's up, Anon? Okay. <laughs> yep. Easy. We got a great bow from the golem. Okay. I'm not really too into the bows. They're cool, and they definitely have a, a strong purpose, but it, I, I just don't, like, care to use them for most of my combat. It's like once in a blue moon I'll break it out for a specific situation. Yeah, okay, so I, I think this is a boss fight right here, right? Yeah, it is. Now, I know there's a cheesy McCheeserson's way of um, handling this guy, but we're going to be men and not do that. Uh, I see you down there. How do I get down there, though? Oh, I gotta go all the way up and around. Got it. Alright. This may actually be a little bit cheesy McCheesersons. I missed. That's tragic. All right, we're gonna try that again. This time we're gonna take it seriously. Yeah, you sucker. I'm talking to you sucker. He's got fireballs coming out of his horse's face. Whatever, dude. Crap, all right, I didn't see that one coming. It'll be okay. Get that man a freaking cup of ice water. Get him something. Get him a wet rag. Oh, we got a shield too? Hold on just a second now. Huh? 
check that bad boy out. A shield that does lightning damage. Interesting. Alright, now nah, this is an entrance, which I, I think there's actually uh, like a shrine up here. So let, let's pick up this checkpoint, and then instead of going inside the capital quite yet, we're going to dip back down into that, like, cave. We're sitting on 125,000 runes, though. Let's spend some, man. A little bit of this, actually. I might as well just like focus strength now. It's gonna be a while until we can use that other weapon at this rate unless we respect, but that's okay. <clears throat> With the great runes menu, you can equip great runes that have had their power restored. Great accent. You can use a great arc to give even greater benefits to your equipped great runes. Okay, so that's new. Um, I don't know if they're like a one-time use. But I don't really have a use for them right now. There's no reason to use that one specifically. Alright. I was going to say, I think it might be faster to teleport back, but it looks like it's about the same distance, so we'll just take a little hike. A little bit of a run. Oh, you know what? Shortcuts for days, man. Yeah, well, okay, okay, thank you. I'm sure there's more stuff down this way that, you know what, there is a whole lake. It would be worth checking out, right? Maybe. You can't get up there. I'm suspicious. There, there's got to be a big boy around here that we can crush that that statue with. Oh, it, it would be you. <laughs> That's the big boy. Come here, big boy. Come on, go get some. I mean, you know, keep it over there, though. Stand a chance, son. I've been killing great runes since you were crapping green, baby. I don't even know why I trusted it. You can't, you have to check. You, like, you can't be sure unless you try it for yourself, right? Savages, dude. Telling you that there's a hidden path and there's friggin' not. Alright, who wants it now? Let's get this friggin'. This cave. I don't remember where the entrance to the, like. Uh, I want to call it the sewers. 
it's more than just sewers. It's like a lot of underground segments uh, in this whole area. But I, I can't remember exactly where the entrance is. We're going to have to just stumble across it. It's okay. We'll get it. Ariza Hero's Grave. I mean, I want to, like, read all the stuff from games like this out loud and, like, give it my own little twist with accents and stuff, but some of these words, dog, I can barely read English on my own, let alone, like, whatever the freaking heck you want to call some of these words. Hello? Oh. You're not gonna fool me. I mean, you might. Hold on a second. The golden epitaph. That sounds cool. I have to check out these swords. Wait, is it this? Yeah. Straight sword. Excuse me. Eh. Straight swords are okay. I think they're a lot better suited for like a parry build. Like if you're running a, a, a fair weight shield. The great shields I think are... I don't know if you can even parry with a great shield. But they're definitely not fitted for parrying. Dude, there's no way. There's no way. Ooh. One of these days I'll learn. I'll be like, oh, let's not trust everything that everybody puts on the ground. And then I'll stop dying so much. <laughs> Hex, you didn't see nothing. Uh. It's fine. Ah! Ah. Wait, can I kill these things, man? <laughs> thorns? Is that what that is? See, he's, he's building thorns. I'm gonna stick to this side. The skeletons are gonna walk out and die on their own. Wonderful. Have I played the golem game? Hell no! No! Is this a- is that a trick question? <laughs> Bro, they... they don't deserve for anybody to ever play their game. That was bullcrap. And I just got sauced. Speaking of sauce, dude, I have to pee so bad. <laughs> I've been drinking way too much fluid this morning, man. Give me just uno momento. I'll be right back.
Sorry about that, dude. I was dying. I've been I've drank like I don't know, half a gallon of water today. <laughs> Way more than normal. Um <laughs> Yeah, I, I need to return back to my damn where I belong because I just got clapped, dude. Uh no dude, I, I that's why I won't buy that game is because of AJ's re review, right? Um I, I, I try to keep up with AJ, man. I really enjoy what they uh what they put out. I, I love their uh their takes on things i uh, i respect their opinions on a lot of things too because um i tend to like align with their uh their opinions right if they like something i tend to like it too um and if they hate something i'm i tend to hate it too <laughs> yeah, give or take you know it depends um but i saw their review on the golem game and i was like this is a freaking joke like there's no way that's even a real game dude that, like, I, I can't understand how they did that. They... Like, that's the... Go that's... That's the license for one of the most, like, prominent franchises in the world. And they just, uh... I don't know. It was shameful to see, like, <laughs> how bad that game really was. I, I can't believe they got away with that. Uh, scared me, dude. Yeah, dude. I think um, even if Steam was like, "All right, we're gonna pay you sixty dollars to to have our game and and play it," I still wouldn't be interested. Hit him. Yeah, there we go. Why'd I do this? Hold on. What is happening here, dude? This place is chaos. Oh my, not dead! <laughs> There's a lot of this game to explore. I've ran past so much stuff. Okay, this is looking like a big old boss fight. Please stop shooting me. I would appreciate it if you friggin' just didn't. Let's get this action on, baby. Oh, jeez. I didn't come prepared for this. Yeah. Oh, he's got some long arms, dude. Oh, 
this is gonna be tragic. Oh. Bro. Could you not interrupt me for half a freaking second, dude? shouldn't have been scared. They're not, I don't think there was any reason to just like sit there and spam my, my, my abilities like that, but I was scared. Okay. Full set of armor and a weapon. I like that. So... Instead of going back to spawn... Which I think we probably should do, but I'm gonna run back out this way and uh, hit the bottom segment. Oh, dude, we have a crucible talisman? Or not a crucible talisman, we have a talisman. I don't know where the crucible part came from, I guess I was fighting those knights. That uh, allows us to regain FP on kills, I think. This one lowers our FP consumed by skills. DB Rock City, but brother. How you doing, babe? How you doing? Yeah, first try. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Thank you for pointing it out, Dream Master. Simon's over there, like, just rolling in his own freaking... His, his sadness. Because I didn't die. <laughs> Simon's silent because he's upset. He's like, man, I wish Beaver would just die when fights like that. But I'm getting good, son. Okay, that... No, that's trash. Restores FP upon defeating enemies. Dude, I think that's the move. Right? Like, although it's not going to be the most beneficial when it comes to things like boss fights, um, we could just, like... I don't know how much FP we're talking, but we could really start getting into using our abilities. Alright, so I'm just taking a look. We're gonna go right to this pillar here and take a little hop down the stairs. Okay, we're gonna go to that broken pillar. Watch it fall. What? I'm Mike Tyson. Dude, what? <laughs> what the heck, dog? <laughs> All right. I don't even know what to say, dude. We're gonna try again. Come on out here, Skeletors. Freaking idiots. <laughs> I don't, dude, I don't know what is. I, I have no idea what makes it so funny and enjoyable. Uh, but I really, really appreciate whenever enemies get ran over by, like, other stuff that is also trying to kill me. Alright, we're gonna go back up here first. We'll come back this way after. Man, I'm so good at this. Oh, it's gonna be close. Yeah, we're good. There's something right here. Oh, 
Come on, but I'm at that, that, but up. Yep. Is this a necessary item? Oh, and Dad, but this is Tin Tin, not X. Okay. I'm gonna stop reading your chat, Simon. <laughs> when I beat the boss, but die to gravity. <laughs> yeah, really, dude. Gravity really is the final boss. Always has been. It definitely was. Ah! It wasn't gravity. It was. Gra uh, it was physics. That's gravity. I was hoping that was a fake wall and I was being real cool, but I'm not that cool. Holy grease. Great. That's what I came here for. I thought that was another boss fight. Dude, surely there's another boss fight in here. There's no way they would make it like this complex and not put another boss fight. There's a way to kill the chariots. Don't you have to like make them run into each other? So I don't know how you do that. But like you have to make them collide with one another. Like you, you can't kill them on your own. It's, it's not something that you can do with like a weapon or a, an ability. Um, yeah, okay. We'll mess around. We'll, uh, let's take our time in here and see if we can figure it out. I don't want to look it up or, or cheese it. I mean, uh, I'm welcome to, to hints and tricks, but I don't want to just, like... I don't want to cheese or cheat. Simon would never forgive me. <laughs> Go back to the area you thought was another boss. Okay. We'll get there. I came all the way here for literally that. Alright. I, I... Ooh, that was kind of close. Did it feel so much better to be back on controller? I don't know, it's something about a Souls game that just makes it so much more natural on controller. I don't know if like... I don't know if Souls games are like intended for controller. Like, I want to say they were originally on consoles. PC was the OG console. Try running in there. Therefore, think carefully. Where am I? Telling me I got that big a head? Not freaking true, dude. Go 
up to the circle of light? That was so bull. That was friggin' nonsense. I'm in denial. That didn't happen. The chariots should hit each other now. Still haven't been down here. They're not dying. There we go. Okay, we do get a little bit of FP back. Eh, it's not that much. It's better than nothing. When we just kill enough enemies, we get a full bar of FP. Cool, dude. Full set of tree sentinel armor. Alright. I'm assuming that's the, the whole situation right there. Why, though? Why did they do that? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter why. They did. That's what matters. Sick, dude. Now, I kind of would like to find my credits. Uh, I think, I think they were this way. Just don't die on the way. Uh, you don't have to worry about the chariots anymore. Alright. I don't think there's really anything left in this cave for us, though, so let's keep moving. Bam, baby! <clears throat> we're gonna get the credits, we're gonna get out of here. Uh, we're gonna check out that small lake somewhat closed. Wait, what? Am I lost? Uh... No. Oh, wait. I didn't see the bottom of this, though. There may be a boss fight. Stay calm. I'm calm. I'm freaking calm, dude.
Dude, I, I love the skeletons like that. Uh, it's so fun to just like throw their bones around like that. The skeletons are like an annoying enemy. They really are. Um, but they are very, very well designed as far as enemies go. Don't. Okay. I don't know who told him. Crucible Feather Talisman. I could have sworn I heard more footsteps. Feather Talisman. Improves dodge rolling, but increases damage taken. You're not going to take damage if you're dodging your attacks. Uh, squeeze me. What's going on here? Traps? Anything? Friggin' nothing. Oh, dude, it's so disappointing when you're like, yeah, there's gonna be something down there, and there's not. Why don't we play in Vault Hunters, man? What's the deal, man? Are you gonna blast me? Where am I? No way I'm standing right next to this thing again. Alright, get that out of here. All right, I know where I'm at. You freaking bully. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's this? Okay, I went that way. Am I lost? No, no, no. We keep going straight here. I feel like this chariot here didn't die, though. Like, it's, I know it's not here anymore, which is great. But what did he run into? Because his path didn't collide with anything. All right, let's get out of here. I keep hearing like little footsteps, dude. I, I, I swear I'm not crazy, okay? I was right about the creepers sitting outside my house in Minecraft. I hear those footsteps. You think the skeletons got knocked out before the chariots got smashed? I think you might be right. Look, man, uh, when you when you're playing a game like this, you have a right to be paranoid. Okay. It's not like, a, is there something behind me trying to kill me? It's like. Yeah, there's something behind you trying to kill you. I don't even know why they put bears like that in this game. They're not scary at all. Uh, I don't think I actually went the whole way up this hill. I know there is a rune bear. Let's actually, let's avoid that man. Oh, he's not trying to avoid me though. Is he? Somehow we got past him. Hey! Hey, hey. See, that's why you gotta look. You gotta check every corner.
side tomb. What? Oh. Yeah, that's gonna be locked, right? Oh, little cutie pies. Where's your lump of flesh? They explode now. Okay. Trust nothing. Nothing. Oh no! I dodged it. <laughs> I dodged it, dude. That's funny. The ones that explode aren't cute. All right, let, let's actually eat it this time. How did I dodge that, dude? I didn't think that was possible. Hello? Is that my lever? Yeah, it is. Hello? Hey. If you guys ever hear me going, hello, uh, it, it's not like something that, it, look, it's a reference to Mrs. Doubtfire. You need to see it to know it. Oh, um, it's a terrible, oh, <laughs> it's a terrible act to, uh, or a uh, voice, well, what's the word? It's a terrible, um, it's a terrible way to, to express that scene from Mrs. Doubtfire. So, if you guys have ever seen Mrs. Doubtfire, it's where, uh, uh, Robin Williams is not dressed up properly as the old lady that he's pretending to be. So he like shoves his face in pie and then uh, opens the door and he's like, Hello! It's funny, okay? Laugh with me. Ah, oh, that's where you are. Alright, hold on. Holy catacombs, dude. Hey, we got a great sword from that guy. There's another trap! Mrs. Doubtfire is a great move. Thank you, thank you. I know where I'm at. Hi, buggies. These guys will never be Alexander. Nice. Oh, that was some good stuff in there. No! Oh! We're just hotboxing over here. Now that I know you can dodge that, I mean, it's fun. All right, that's, I think, the first one that trapped us. That scene where he tries to get the, wait, get a <laughs> Pierce Bronson? Yeah, dude. Oh, hi, guys. You guys, uh, you don't look too good. Are you going to trap me as well? Yep. Okay. <laughs> I don't know who designed this cave, but they need to chill out. Before I jump down there.
yeah, this was the first room that we came through. Okay, I'm lost. No, I'm not. Wait. Oh! How did I dodge that? The last chest will take me to the lever? Okay. Good shout, good shout. This one room that we're in here looks like real close to the one that we were in before, but um, I think that's the point. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hello. Wait a second. How'd I miss that? Ah, yeah, I missed an item in there. Okay, wait. I think that down in that corner is the chest that I missed. Okay. How did I miss these cracked pots? There's a ladder here too? This must be a different room. They got me. They got me with that freaking letter on the ground. He said, you don't have the right. You don't have the right. I, just, it, I hate when people do that. They they put like a, a, a prompt for one of those stupid runes on the ground right next to like a ladder or a door or an item that you're supposed to pick up so that you accidentally like read their prompt instead of activating the freaking <laughs> the stupid like item that you're looking for. It's a dirty trick. I know, this catacomb is tricky. I'm totally lost. <sighs> yeah, it's a troll is what it is. That's, you're right. All right, dumplings. Oops. Nah, that double back. Get the back. Nah. Uh uh. Nah. I'm ensnared. I'm ensnared. Look at that back. Okay. Okay. I'm ensnaring the pot. Okay, so you have to take this one twice? This one is confusing. So I'm back where I came from. But if I take it again... <laughs> I do, that would be so funny if you could. Yeah, see, this is a different room. Or is it? No, it's not. Wait, where am I, dude? What the heck's going on? Well, let's try this one. Friggin' idiots. Can't fool me, son. I mean, you can, but not that time. Okay, we are up above where we came from. My credits are not here. Is 
So we go back down here again. Hook her right and open that same chest once more. This chest. It's like after you take the other one, this one takes you somewhere else again. Yeah, all right. Eh, hey, you're not trolling me this time, buddy. I just need my, my freaking runes back. Dang it. Cheeks. Oh, cheeks. Oh, cheeks be swinging on the ladder. I don't know what it is about the ladders, but... Don't do it. And then if we go back up here. Uh, I'll get lost again. Where the heck am I, dude? Damn beaver cheeks. <laughs> Relax, you're gonna get dead bot all worked up. <laughs> Alright. Now that it, it took 45 minutes to get here. the boss in about five seconds, dude. This is the easiest part of the whole cave. I think our sword's a little busted. It is maxed out. Like, uh, it's a level 10 somber smithing stone upgrade. Like, it's freaking busted. Alright. We can move forward. Happily. And with caution. I would like to check out this segment right here. Because there's some stuff there that I believe I missed. It could even be another cave. Which, you know, there's always good stuff in there, right? That's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I like to see. You, sir. Dog. Tis a dog. Where's your crab daddy at? Ah, what's my crab daddy? I remember when I was younger, and I, I thought that uh, the cat daddy song was so cool. Crab always. Wait, this is where you meet the prawn guy again. The prawn guy. Prawn guy. Prawn guy. Who prawn guy? Now? I just wanted to look at my map. The guy in the shack at the lake area. The guy in the shack at the lake area. The guy in the shack in the lake area. Wait, in Caleb?
What shack are you talking about? There's so many shacks in this game, dude. There's so many lakes. Not like... Not, not this guy. Not the gallery shack. That's not a lake. In Liernia? Did I miss him? Maybe. It's not going to be the Church of Vows. That's not it. There's a grace near him? I may have missed him. Is he, like, in the lake? Did I hate to say this, but I actually... I have to pee again, dude. Like, we're two hours in and I've already had to pee twice. And I've peed twice before I started streaming today. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I'll be right back. Alright, sorry man. Dude, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I've been drinking too much water, man. Well, okay, so it's more than just water. I've been drinking, uh, normally coffee makes me pee, right? Um, but I got something new that I've been trying recently. I've been, what, what is it? What's it called? Uh, G Fuel. I, I got a thing of G Fuel that I was like, oh, you know what? Everybody talks about G Fuel. I'm gonna try it. Turns out it's delicious, um, and it's packed with vitamins, dude. Like, it's got so many vitamins, and it just makes me pee. Constantly. <laughs> I can't help it, dude. I'm sorry. Okay. This guy at the shack in Liernia. Guy at the shack in Liernia. Folly on the lake? It's not gonna be that. That's not a shack. That's a church. I don't know, dude. I, I must have missed it. But you'd think you'd be able to... Maybe it's... Maybe it's this? Where are we, exactly? Alright, we're right here. We've pretty much discovered just about everything. I'm ready to head back to the Capitol Rampart, Grace, so that we can get inside the Capitol. Or we could try the front door. Um, doesn't really matter. But, real quick, while we're in transition, let's... Let's pop over to this and see if we can find that grace. Back, wait, go back to the Academy Town Grave? Grace, excuse me. Academy Town Grace. Main Academy Gate? Oh, Ac Academy Town Gate. Academy Gate Town. Okay. There's so much stuff that I just, like, I end up overlooking. Uh, I feel like I'm so thorough with my playthrough. Like, we've we've gone through so much stuff. And I try to get, like, every single crevice of the, the map. Still mess things. Regardless. That looks like a shack. I bet it's not. It's not. The shack should be near there. Well, 
that's not a shack, but I missed it. It was the principal. Don't do it. Alright, I gotta kill these guys too. This guy. Alright, a shack near here. It gotta be town, we're here. I don't know, dude, imagine you found a lobster like that in real life. Like, lobster's expensive, dude. If you sold, like, an 800 pound lobster, I bet you that lobster that we just killed, like, if you thought about it, how much do you think that thing would weigh? Like, that's like, I don't know, uh, the, the shells... The, of the lobsters and creatures that have shells like that are usually fairly light, right? The, the carapace. Um, I'll bet you that's like a, a 1,400 pound lobster, dude. Like, that's a, that's a big lobster. And like, a normal lobster weighs like, what, five, a few pounds? Five pounds-ish? And it, that's expensive. That's a big ass lobster, dude. Excuse my language. Holy crap. The first time. <laughs> We're not going to talk about it. Wipe it from your memory, Simon. That looks like a shack. How near are we talking? Like, five seconds? <laughs> Couple clicks? We we'll use Zach's measurements from Helldivers? <laughs> Sorry. I know my mods are gonna have to ban me. I'm trying to get him on my horse, thank you. I guess I did, like, I wasn't, like, the most thorough with Liernia. Oh! Shaq? Got it. Oh, he's the prisoner. Look, he's eating lobster too, dude! What are you looking at? I'm bloody Just looking at you, you bloody friggin' you prawn. You bloody prawn. What the hell is wrong with you? You trying to start something? Piss off. Before I crack you in half. What the hell is wrong with you trying to start something? Piss off. What the hell is wrong with you trying to start? Should I, should I attack him? I feel like I should attack him. <clears throat> right, let's go back to this lake. That side tomb is, I think, the closest, Grace. You have to meet Raya to do his quest? Wait, who's Raya? Uh, oh man, who is Raya? I can't think of Raya. I know the name, but I can't, like, pinpoint who he is in my brain. Oh, the girl from the Volcano Manor. 
Wait, uh, I, I've done the Volcano Manor, though. Wait, was she the, the servant? Or was she the lady that was in the chair? I think she's the lady that was in the chair. That's new. Okay. Uh, she was the servant. Okay. So like, now that I've completed the Volcano Manor, I did talk to the servant girl, um, and uh, like I initiated conversation with her, but after I completed the Volcano Manor, she left. She's the daughter of the lady in the chair. Okay. That's terrible that she's the servant, but I mean, I guess it is what it is. So where would she be now then? Like, the people from the Volcano Manor left. I don't foresee them coming back. But I don't know. I guess I could try. It, it wouldn't hurt to take a look over there again. And see if they showed back up. She's also in the lake area? You messing with me? That guy was super loud. Oh. Alright, I look, I have to kill them. <laughs> you have to. In the lake area. Okay, so she's moved to the lake area. The Boil Prawn Shack's gonna still be there because we haven't talked to her again. I mean, I'm assuming maybe at, like, a church? Right? She's not gonna just be, like, sitting out in the middle of the water somewhere. I wouldn't think, right? She'd probably be at some sort of point of interest, even if it's just a shack. Um, I can't remember what this is. But let's um let's pop on over to the temple quarter real quick, see if she's there, and then we'll go to the Rose Church, see if she's there, and then I don't know. We'll wait for Dream Master to tell us where she's at. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Uh the wrong way. I don't know, this place is, like, just destroyed. You wouldn't think she'd be in the middle of that kind of stuff. Maybe, like, one of these? Okay, that's the Rose Church right there. 
Should be. It doesn't look like she's here. That's like, I think the first, that's where like the first merchant is. She may be there. It's possible. She's just like hanging out by that campfire. No, wait, this is not. That's not what I think it is. Maybe this is the first one. Leonia Lake Shore. Lookout towers. I don't know. Am I that overly concerned about it? Nah. Nah. We'll come back another day. Let's just get ourselves into the capital, and um, if we're feeling itchy about it sometime, we'll we'll come back. Hello. Nothing? Nah. There's never anything down there. It's disappointing. Hi. Oh wait, I think I may have been here. Yeah, I think I got teleported into this place and I was like, ah, I'm not ready and I left. to do that I uh, was uh, I was hoping he would fight me man I feel like a monster dang dang son Dude, I want a tapestry like that for my wall. I have something sort of like that, but not it's not an erd tree. It, but it is a green tapestry with a tree that's similar to that. That's a beautiful design. I like it. Nice sword, dude. I'm pretty sure these guys symbolize, like, um, something. Like, the fact that they're tooting their little horns means that something crazy is about to happen. Sorry, buddy. Goodness. That is a huge dragon. He's over here dancing, dude. They're kind of cute, man. Oh, 
Oh, I know what you are. Uh, I... Yep. I remember the first time I came through here, I was so scared of everything, I mostly ran away. I would love to try the lever, man. This place is massive. I'm gonna end up walking past stuff. It's interesting though that like a lot of the town, this whole place, the capital, is kind of intact. There's a few bits and bobs that are just trashed, but like most of your buildings are intact, which tells you that the the town, the capital, won the defense. Uh, maybe. At least that's the way you would maybe assume it would happen. These guys are tired. What's up, Alistair? Alright, hold on. Let's not get too carried away. I'm not even going to look at the map. 
that's not the way we need to navigate this area. I think the map's just gonna end up confusing me and uh, messing me up. I think if I stick to my, my brain skis. I think I can keep a, a, a fairly decent like mental note of where I've been. That's gonna get me most of the way through this town. I just need to be paying attention, that's all. Yeah, why is it always a liar? What the heck, dude? Freaking fool, dude. What'd you think? Now, I know we've, like, worked our way past a lot of stuff, but I'm trying to stick to, like the path that we're working with, at least for now. That way I can say, like, alright, I've covered this whole pathway, right? And, and then we can kind of work our way into more vertical, like, discoveries. Like, rooftops and things like that. Got it. I see you. Wow. We're strong, dude. That guy went down. Alright, I, I know I said I was going to wait for vertical discoveries, but I really want this item. Let's not get too crazy. One thing at a time. Okay, that's where I came from. Is it? Yeah, it is. All right. See, it's corners and crevices like this, man, that you can just hide stuff in. Like fake walls, man. Didn't stand a chance. They got nothing. Holy hallways and corners. An imped. That's a good helmet. I'm pretty sure the one that we already have is like one of our best helmets. Okay, let's avoid that whole half over there across this road. Let's stick to the right-hand side first, then we'll backtrack and come across the other side.
Hello, door. Oh, it opens. I just didn't expect it to open. Okay, now I am gonna look at the map. Just a smidge. Just a little peeksy poo. I'm a horse? Heck no, dude. What the heck? This place smells like a boss fight. See, like, lots of dead people over here. Oh, it's one of you. I, I literally cannot move. Dude, what the heck? I feel like that shouldn't have happened. There's no way I should have died there. At least not in that exact situation. He might have hit me again and killed me, but that was bull. Now I'm 150,492 billion kilometers away. I have no idea. Oh, I know where I'm at. There wasn't a single checkpoint that whole time. Not one. That's crazy. Shooting me through walls, man. I do wish I could ride my mountain here. That would make life a little bit easier. There's a little bit of foreshadowing going on in this area. Um, if you guys have played and beaten this game before, you'll recognize this like sand and all this. We're totally gonna do that to the other group of enemies. The ones that just like clap my cheeks. Wow. That attack is a little strong, man. That's kind of crazy. There's a lot of Michaela's lilies going on. A little symbolism. 
That's what this game's good at. Jeez, he's got a bubble. I'm afraid of those guys. Oh, are you gonna bubble too? <laughs> you just walk around behind him. That's the oldest trick in the book, dude. What are these guys sleeping for, man? They're praying. They must be uh, praying for lost loved ones. But it's okay. Um, now they're at peace. You gonna get some, big boy? Dang, son. That train is so loud. Okay. I think that was, if not everything, most of what's in that area. Wait, did I? Did I, did I, did I, did I go all... No, I didn't. I missed something. Hold on a second. I didn't go like all the way up and to the right, like along that. I don't, yeah, I, I hooked to left right at this grave. What's the dirt? What's the dirt about? Could this be dung? Nah, I doubt it. I doubt it. That is a fancy lever. Man, this is a crazy elevator. Almost as if it's like designed for some really big dude. Am I where I think I am? Am I, what? Wait. Dude. I'm not sure I'm ready for all this. Oh, there's a seal here. Sealed by Morgoth, the grace given. Okay. I guess we'll be back. That's fine. Uh, I don't think I want to go to a grace either. I'm so 
surprised there's not a checkpoint right up here. I haven't seen a single grace in this whole freaking town, dude. That did not hurt me. Lies. Alright, so we gotta go do some things. We gotta go kill some people and take some names, kick some butts, eat some loot. <laughs> so let's do our little backtrack here. Um, let's hug the right hand side of all this. See what we can find. And work our way that way and towards the dragon. Underneath it and around. So a freaking Yeah. Crucible Knight. Nothing. They got nothing. Elevators? Are we going to the basement? Nah, we're going up. Okay. Wait, that's a shortcut, right? Yes. Got it. That's a great shortcut, actually. That's like a, a huge cut. Now are we going? We're definitely going down this time. A whole two friggin' feet? What the heck? Why is there even an elevator there? say that that down there goes to the sewers. This is where I start getting turned around. sword keys always nice that's like 4,000 runes right there I don't think I've ever tried to but I wonder if you can sell the stone sword keys buddy you bit off the wrong freaking bite of bagel dude it's like a hot pocket You know what I mean? Like, if you bite into a hot pocket, it's like, it's a, a gamble. It's either completely hot lava, and you're gonna ruin your entire day. Um, or it's just ice cold and you're sad afterwards, right? That's what it's like attacking the beaver. 
Boom. I still haven't found a single checkpoint. Anywhere. What? I see one. Oh, he sees me. Well played. I'm getting so lost. Let's avoid the... Where am I? I'm in the upper half. Let's avoid the upper half. Let's just try to stick to what's low and down below right now. That's what you get for getting aggressive. Accuracy over speed. That's what Kratos taught me. say there's something at the top of that sword to, to loot. Like, if I start climbing it, there's gonna be stuff up there. Oh, that's the dragon, not the sword. But I think they connect. Alright, am I ready to go do that yet? Because that's going to open up, like, the whole upper area. Like, as much as I want to go loot that place, I really don't think there's anything that's necessary for us right now. I mean, there is good stuff up there, but... Seek who what? Don't lie to me. Seek behind. Precious item, you're lying to me. Um... We'll, we'll get to it eventually, is what I'm trying to say. I think we, we stick to the whole underneath section. Section? Section. I hear somebody. goes to the sewers because that's where I want to get my waters from the sewers Fire is the way to go on these guys. Alright, let's not get too distracted. It's fine. Go. 
Okay, that's where I came from. I should really start dropping stones. Rainbow stones. To, like, kind of signify where I've been. Ooh, okay. That was a risky jump. I mean, we're getting into it now, right? We're down here. We might as well just keep going. It's just so much, dude. It's so easy to get lost and just miss something. Okay, this is where I came from. Let's just do it. Let's hit the sewers. It's time. We're gonna skip the rot grease and go with these rainbow stones. Because I'm not really using the rot. Come on down here. Okay, I guess he's not coming down. I've got to have something to throw, right? Those things do a crazy amount of damage. I didn't realize they were that cool. Wait a second. Is this not... Is this not the sewers? I think I have to go through that well, man. Now how'd I miss you? Wait a second. Oh, they don't already turned around. Okay. All right, two rocks to symbolize where we exit. One rock to symbolize where we've been. Sleeping on the job.
I hope those things just last forever. It's gonna be tragic if they just start disappearing and I'm like, where, where the heck am I? Okay. Now we're back by the Wing of the Dragon. Where is that well at? Okay, so we jumped up and across this. Went through here. I'm not even in the freaking underground segment. Wait a second. I've not gotten that grace. Uh, oh, hi. Sick. All right, we got Lionel's armor. A deathbed dress. Okay. So Lionel's dead now. And what's her face has been here? This is not where I want to be, though. Wait a second. So they're coming through here. Yes. So this is where I came from. Got it. Now, if I could get back in there. This is mostly where I started. Up in that direction. So if I keep going this way. Up this ladder, I believe. Gosh, dude, it's so hard to navigate these places. Right, and then I didn't go up, I went out the gate. Or I did go up. We cleared that. And then we came back and went out the gate. Here's the dragon's wing again. And then I went down and around. Where the freaking heck was that well at, dude? Was it to the right? No. No, we've been down there. And then it was like, go up and around. And I was like, okay. And I did. Okay, so I went that way. That's the well. All right. 
Hiding in this corner. Am I lost? No. No, no, no. This has got to be the entrance right here. not forget to mark everything. I'm probably going to end up needing more rocks. Two to symbolize the exit. I'm like dying for a checkpoint now. Let me take a bathroom break. Let me use the restroom quick, and then we're gonna get into this. We're gonna do the whole underground segment. All right, I'll be right back. Uno momento.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is where it gets serious. This is where we get to lock it down, take this game seriously. If I die here, I'm devastated. I see him up there walking. Which way is he? He's facing that the other direction. Let's try to pop down here. Good start. I'm gonna wait for him to turn around. He's just gonna... <laughs> What's going on here? Two for three. I think to our left is a checkpoint. Yes, dude. Yeah, yeah, all right. No need to rest, because that's just gonna bring them back, right? I'm pretty sure that's locked. They can't hurt the check. Yeah. I'm gonna really try to save my potions here, because we're gonna be out for a while. Alright, we'll use one. <laughs> uh. Uh. Let's avoid the tubes, for now. Oh, hi. Ah! We're just chilling. I really don't want to get poisoned right now. It might be inevitable. Yep, okay.
Okay, let's make it quick. We're almost coming up on 300,000 runes. It's gonna suck when I die and lose them all. Son of a gun. That works. Alright. As long as we keep killing. Locked. Okay. I think that's our exit. Gosh, imagine if I just jumped off that ladder. Dead. Nah, I would've been fine. We're not even that far. We got the checkpoint not that far away. What? Who's dying? That's pretty satisfying. Ah, oh, get him out of here. I think that's where I fell. Rainbow stone fletched arrow. I wonder if that's to like shoot at an area to do essentially do what I'm doing now with the rocks. I see you, you slimy dirtbag.
Wait, what? What's he doing? He's gonna take the ladder? That's cute, dude. <laughs> Another one? Dude, where are they coming from? Goodness. Okay, I think that's the other side of the doorway that we were originally at. Yeah, all right, so that's the gate. Wait, no, this is not the right doorway. That's the gate that we were locked at. What's up, the ogres button? Uh, dude, where were they? They've been down here getting busy is what they've been doing. They've been making more ogres. Alastor, the radio demon be everywhere. He been everywhere, man. He been everywhere, man. I can tell you now, he's been there, here, now. He's been everywhere, man. Woo! I almost fell. Dude, I'm going freaking go happy, go lucky with these rocks. I really don't want to just be like running in circles forever. That was real smooth, dude. String. String's actually like really uncommon and pretty darn valuable like I, I don't know if it has any other purposes but string can be used to make the drawstring greases which is just a really fast way of uh, applying the grease to your weapon now I want to say it lasts for like less time What's this guy doing? <laughs> Dang it. Don't tell him. That's a good combo right there. An omen baron. Wait, what? What is an omen baron? It's gonna be not part of tools.
Do I have... Dude, I've got eight larval tiers. I could just keep respecking if I want. It's a tool? I thought so. Am I blind? I must be blind. Oh, there it is. All right. It uses FP to unleash wraiths that chase down foes. I want to say maybe this gives me a disadvantage, kind of like these blessings, the Badalkins, Baldikins blessings. I don't know if I need to be wearing the Baldikins <coughs> blessings anymore. I've got two of those puppies on me. Who's sparkling? I'm pretty sure this is back to the checkpoint. Okay. So, time out. We are going to go back into the sewer hole that we came from. Oops, sorry. Why am I throwing the glowstones? So I don't get lost. I'm not trying to fall off the cliff, buddy. I see you creeping. I'm... I'm assuming the glowstones stick around. Like, they don't just, like, disappear. And, um, I'm throwing them on the ground so I don't get lost and turned around. Menaces, dude. And they're super cheap to make, the glowstones. I think it just takes like a ruin fragment. Alright, before we go back down into there again, let's um... Let's go back down to the end of this right here and go through this cave again, or this sewage area. Um, just because I believe I missed a, a couple of things. 
This is where I find out that oh, the glowstones don't last forever, dude. I thought they just stayed there. <laughs> What's the point of the glowstones, dude? All right, I'm gonna end up lost. Because uh, I'm positive I threw a whole bunch down here in this area that I'm in now. All right, wait a second. That's where the dung eater is? He's not here yet. We gotta do some things first. Okay, so they do last a little while. Okay, this is the way I came out. See, I'm lost even with the glowstones. Maybe I did find this, the every corridor here. I was trying not to miss anything. Ah, I did miss that. All right, that's what I jumped over. I hate this room, dude. I missed so many times. <laughs> I hate that guy. I came prepared this time. I knew he was there. <laughs> Not messing around. The Royal Revenant? Is that what that was? The Royal Revenant? He's a dirty freaking slime bag. That's what he is. I could just walk down there. Okay. I know where I'm at. The rainbow stones do help. They're not gonna like make or break it, um, but they, they definitely make a, a bit of a difference. Okay, we're situated on that side of things. Now we can go, I guess, through this door here. Let's do the top half first. As much as I can. Definitely almost died. There's a catacombs below me. We'll get there. One step at a time. I 
America. Let's go the other way first. <clears throat> Excuse me, first. Freaking prick. <laughs> I hate these guys. Okay, get the ladder first. Got it. Now I know where I'm at. We can get back to this again pretty easily now. Ah, I thought I was throwing a rainbow stone down. What a waste of a potion. The imps have no chill. I know, dude. They're wicked, dog. Like, they just... And they'll gang up on you, too, which is the scariest part. All right, rats, you're not going to get me to rush through this, okay? I ain't scared of no ghosts. Rats are kind of scary, though, dude. They'll hit you so hard. Brave beaver. now okay wasn't there another hole somewhere that I jumped over this one frick sitting there waiting for me all right that's my door that was locked Here we go. Alexander. Okay. I think this takes me down. Yeah. This is where I start getting turned around. Like, friggin' lost. We'll be back for the catacombs. Oh, wait, is this? This looks like the catacombs. Or at least something like catacombs, right? Do who what? Oh, 
cops are dead. From, dude, I've killed him before. Why is he here? What? Why is he here, dude? Why is that man here? Gosh, dude, what the heck? I wasn't ready to fight Moog again. Yeah, yeah, no kidding, dude. What's up, Jiraiya? Sexy Jiraiya! I roll! <laughs> dude, I... Do you have any idea how many credits are on the floor over there? It's like... 360,000 credits right now. Where's Kite? I don't know. That's a good question. I've been wondering where Kite was.
no, dude. Dude, I'm struggling. He's so low. Can somebody tell me where his health bar is? How how is he alive? How's he alive? What? Why didn't he die? What? Why didn't that man die, dude? What? He must have had like negative 14 health, dude. There's no friggin' way. Dude, yeah, facepalm for real, dude. That's hard. That is so dumb. kite too man we talked about doing vault hunters um and i was like yeah and uh, i never heard back okay i definitely dashed but whatever I can't move. I'm stuck inside the fire. That sucks. I'm pretty sure Kite's a dude though, Jariah. <laughs> just, just so you're aware. Um, I, I know you got like a little thing going. But Kite's for sure a guy. I can't take this, dude. Dry, let me finish this fight, buddy, and I'll, I'll catch up with chats. Dude, 
Vogue is a friggin' menace. I hate this guy. I swear. Where is my freaking dodge at? Dude, I'm raging right now. He should have been dead. That man should have been dead. Jariah, are you talking about that streamer that you mentioned like ages ago? That is like super awkward though, Jariah. I uh <laughs> I don't know what to tell you there. That's uh that's something. She sounds like no, I'm not gonna do that. That's ridiculous. There's no reason to ever, like, break anything or or anything like that. There's, like, there's nothing that could make me rage that hard in the world. Then I would actually be like, alright, I'm gonna break my monitor now. I say it as a joke sometimes. I can't dash for some reason. I, I can't dodge. <laughs> Jarius, when I when <laughs> never once <laughs> did I even say that she wasn't a female. <laughs> the fact that you feel the need to like put that in there and be like, oh, just by the way, she's definitely a woman. <laughs> Jariah, it really is the perfect name for you, though. Like, I couldn't ask for, like, a better name to call you. You're actually Jariah. fight mode, dude. This guy has aim by. There's no way. I can't dash out of that for some reason. I'm do I'm dodging. I'm literally dodging. I'm freaking furious. Try it's totally possible you're being bamboozled. I'm dodging, dude. There's no way. This guy has so many combos, it's not even funny. Okay, 
Okay. I hate that dude. I hate him so much. That wasn't even his second phase, dude. He didn't even use his like bleed mechanic. Tree's favorite plus one. Cool. I think that just like increases our health, magic, and stamina. Health, stamina, equip load. All right, we can relax now. What in the world, Dry? What are you on about, dude? You're geeking, dog. <laughs> I won. For a second time. Mm. Let's just keep throwing all our points into strength. If you intend to claim the frenzied flame, I ask that you cease. It is not to be meddled with. It is chaos. Dry, I believe you, man. And thought I never said I didn't. However ruined this world has become, however mired in torment and despair, life endures. Births continue. There is beauty in that. Is there not? If you would become Lord, do not deny this notion. Please, leave the frenzied flame alone. I think I should listen to the her. The frenzied flit is chaos, so please. It must be important that we don't mess with the frenzied flame. I think that, uh, because in my first playthrough, I found it, like, unintentionally and, and went with it. And uh, I think we should probably avoid it this time around. <clears throat> hey, dude, good luck with your physics exam, Jariah. I wish you the best. And uh, with your boyfriend, too, so have fun with that. Okay. I'm mostly joking about your boyfriend. Mostly. Oh man, Moog put me in it. He's tough. Got it, I know where I'm at. I do wish all the enemies didn't reset though. I was doing so good at like, you know, not dying and, and all that. Jariah, look, before you go, a piece of advice. The fact that you feel the need to reiterate all this, like, multiple times, uh, tells me that you yourself are a bit concerned. <laughs> and usually, that's enough to say, oh, 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 bye, bye.
that's enough to say that even if there's a chance, you know, maybe uh, reconsider your decisions in life. <laughs> Okay. Where are we going? We're gonna go back up here. And I'm pretty sure I found everything down in that tunnel. I'll see you later, Jiraiya, man. Be safe. Don't go, you know, making poor decisions. I think he is. How do I... Do I just go down from here? I think I just die if I try to go down from here. That's a, a long fall, man. I think I have to get down lower. And I don't think I can make that jump either. I, I think... Um, let's go back down here. Ooh! Oh, that was close. Let's take this ladder back up and around and then reposition ourselves here. Figure this out. Because we do need to go all the way down there. User. Okay, I came from that direction. Oh, that was quite a fall. I was like two inches away from dying. I think I missed something. Lobster! Don't do it. Just so stinking scary. Uh, okay. Are you for real, dude? 
That's where Moog's shackles been this whole time. Zach was telling me about it the other day. He was like, yeah, dude, Moog's got this thing that, like, allows you to just, like, time down and kill him real quick. Do what? Go back to the Moog area and hit the wall behind the grace? Dang it. Alright, bear with me. Okay, let me get this grace first. Don't let me forget about it. Let's, um... Because I don't think I can portal, right? Lendell Catacombs. Lower charge balcony, underground roadside. Forsaken Depths. Oh, I can travel. Okay. Alright, let, let's just hit it. The shunning grounds. It was perfect. I feel like I was supposed to be here first before I went and fought Moog himself. Like, at the other location. Whatever you want to call it. Get out of here, dude. I would have never known. More guts. Seal. I've killed more guts before, though. Did I miss a big fat boss fight somewhere? In Lindo? Okay. Alright, we'll be back. Don't let me forget about that place, because I totally will. so thirsty today, man. I don't know what the problem is. Is it hot? Not really. I mean, it's it's getting warmer. It's becoming springtime. It's like 60 degrees outside, but I mean, I'm obviously not there. <laughs> I'm sitting in my house. I always forget that, like, 60 degrees means nothing to you guys. It's not 60 degrees Celsius. <laughs> it's, it's, it's Fahrenheit. I, I wish I was better at converting that, but uh, I'm not. Dude shot bugs and ugh, caterpillars and ugh. Don't tell him I'm here. We've had this conversation.
Crucible scale talisman. What do you do? Crucible nut talisman reduces impact to headshots, reduces damage taken from critical hits. Wow. Yeah, dude, that was a disgusting zombie. I do I know, right? I didn't think he was just gonna like not see me. What? I came from this direction. Why are these guys dead? man yeah I know dude I, like Normally when I come across a bunch of bodies in an area that I, I haven't been, I'm like, have I been here? Like, but something had to have killed him. Probably going the wrong way. Okay. How lost am I? I don't even know what to say. What? Where? What? In the heck? I'm not the only one being tricked, right? Like, other people are struggle busting here, right? Cause... It seems familiar, dude. this come from <laughs> I 
want to go home too, dude. What in the world? I'm so confused, dude. Is it calm? Is it ever calm? Confusion. Confusion. Watch, the boss is gonna get killed in like two shots. Is that a gnome? What is this? Oh, he's so cute! He's <laughs> a little gnome, dude. Lord of Blood's Exaltion? Okay. Uh, right here. Blood loss and vicinity increases attack power. That's interesting. The kid version of Moog, is that what that was? Is that? That was like Moog's big toe. <laughs> With a hat. If you put a little hat on Moog's foot, that would be it. All right, get me out of here, dude. I'm really not a fan of the, the lobsters. Where's he going? Do I want to though? I feel like I need to... I'm missing something. I, I thought... I, I, that's why I came back out there because I felt like I was missing something. Yeah, I didn't take this elevator. But I, I have killed these stupid shrimp. I just want my credits back. I'm pretty sure I've collected everything. Holy sniper. No! Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Don't do it, don't do it! No! I missed. <laughs> I bet you there's nothing there. I can almost guarantee there's nothing there. Come on, Mr. Elevator, let's go. We've got things to do. This is wasting my time from software. Appreciate that. Yeah, thanks. 
thanks. All right, there's no, there's not a point in looking at the map. I wish there was like map documentation for the catacombs and the undergrounds and stuff like that too. Boop. Fifteenth time is the charm. Let's go. Zaki? Yeah, dude, he's friggin' laughing. Oh, you guys are just gonna keep spawning, right? I freaking hear you in here. Frick. That guy was a savage, dude. Dude, I feel compelled to like roll into every single thing I see now. Fight? What am I doing? Wow. Alright, hold on. We gotta go fight Mr. Dung Boy. I think dung ding dong, ding dong bing dong dong was down here. It's okay guys, look I'm just, I'm a friend. I'm a family friend. Don't do that. Unless I gotta go talk to Ding Dong Ding Bing Dong Boy um, at the round table hold again. Okay, I've gotten that item. Why is that locked? How do I unlock that? I thought that the dung man was here in this room that I'm in now and that he dropped some or he unlocked that door when I got rid of him. What am I missing? on the ground road side. Let's dip on over to the round table hold. See if he's still there. And if he is, have a chat. What are you still doing here, buddy? No. Light. You have felt the curse. I can smell it on you. The box, yet tender. Apparently my seed bed is ripe and waiting. It was a brief respite, I must say. 
Go and unshackle my corporeal flesh, trapped in this sewer jail below the capital. There's the key for that door. Okay. I can kill you and defile your corpse. Then the pox will truly be your own. Go and untrapped in this. I can kill you. You can have these, lady. Thank you. While we're here, we might as well take a, a little time to chat with everybody. I don't think we killed anybody yet. No. Got nothing for him. Interesting. Uh, I kind of want to upgrade that hammer that I got. This thing. I know I can't use it. It just takes plain old smithing stones. Dang. Smithing stone threes. I'm pretty sure we could buy those. I literally need one smithing stone. I'm sure we have loads of the higher tiers. Uh, smithing stone three. Up to nine. I want to say that was level nine. I don't want to go and spend like a, a ton of extra stuff that I don't need to. Back over no matter. Bam. All right, now I'm broke. Whoa! What can I give you, dude? Holy 800 row of fruit. That's not. That's like hardly any money. Uh, I don't even think it's really worth selling most of this stuff. Because, like, why would I, right? I, I could just pop some runes. Fifty thousand. Back already. No matter. Uh huh. Wow, dude, that's so expensive. I think they go to twenty-four. Scales off a of B now. I just want to use this weapon, man. Smithing stone eight. And one more. I don't think I can buy smithing stone eight. That's all the way up to four. I 
think EG sold, yeah, he sold somber smithing stones. I don't think I can buy up to eight right now. I have so many. I have 17 of those on me right now. I don't think there's any reason to buy them. Alright. I guess we're going to make do with what we got. Back to the capital. Uh, back to the basement. Not the catacombs the roadside. I can't remember if this guy's a tough fight or not. to be sure that when they're reborn they'll be cursed along with their children and their children's children for all time to come you see this is a good but like evil character try that Somebody get him out of here. I wonder if I, if I could have left him alive. I've never tried, but I like that sword. I like it. See now we you know what we do. Where's this bad boy at?
The sword of Milos. Causes blood loss buildup. Bam. I think we could swap, right? So like this has the Shriek of Milos, which I, oops. I can't remember what the Shriek of Milos does. I, I'm pretty sure it's some sort of buff. So like if I hold this Blasphemous Blade in my offhand, I still get the effect of like healing and stuff from it. How do I? Uh, how did I do this? Oh, wait. Oh, it's, it is square. Sinister greatsword fashioned from a giant's backbone meets out wounds like a lopsided saw blade and restores some FP upon defeating an enemy. Milos was an undersized was undersized for a giant and was viewed as sullied and terrible grotesque. The unique skill Shriek of Milos lets out a horrific cursed scream that reduces all damage negation and status resistances for nearby foes. While active, strong attacks will change to a combo attack. It does no damage because it's not upgraded. I should have just poured it out. Uh, what do I have? 20,000 runes. I was thinking about just wiping. Instead of fighting everything. <laughs> you guys can do it, man. Come on. All right, you're not that bad. So what, I guess, the upper half of Lendell Capital's next. Oh. Alright. We came from... It might be best. That's the lower capital church. Yeah. Let's go back to the very beginning. I do want to use that weapon a little bit, but we need to upgrade it first. What the heck? Where'd my sword go? Thanks? Okay. Let's climb the dragon. Sonny boy. Uh... You don't know what you're doing.
That's a big dragon, dude. Imagine that sucker comes after you. Like, it's hard enough to kill all the other dragons. The regular baby-sized ones. I think these gravel stones are used to do something against dragons. They're like, they do bonus damage or something like that. <laughs> I heard him. Alright, so we're going to start saving our currency up again. And then we're going to try to upgrade uh, that weapon that we just got with the currency. Or are we? I don't know. It's a pretty sick sword. I mean, like, bleed build up with a great sword like this would be fun. I have no idea what that lever does. Probably opens the door below me. Don't do that. That's guy. Oh. Look at that freaking black knife. Or not black knife, black, uh, black hawk. I don't know what he is. A cane sword. You're gonna cause problems for me, right? I think that's how it's done right there. Dude, there's so many places to go. There's no way we find everything, man. I don't think I'm ready to climb the tree yet. I'm pretty sure I know where that goes. And, uh... I'm scared. Oh my gosh! Okay. It's okay. I still can't ride my stinking horse. Try jumping now. No, dude, that's too far. You're not fooling nobody.
Yeah, that, that's a boss fight door right there. Dang, son, that's a thick tree. What happened to you? Starfist. Oh man, come on, give me a smithing stone eight. Dude, this map is crazy. It's just so good looking. I don't understand how they did it. I can't comprehend it. I hope they do it again. <laughs> uh, I mean, it doesn't have to be an Elden Ring too, right? But like, whatever game they come out with that is Souls-like, you know, I, I hope that they, they really do it. Just the way they did this. I'm not saying I want it to be like copy and paste, like same game. Um, what I want, man, is the passion, the the effort, the time, the care, the detail, all of that. Who be in here? Who be in here? Duels. To engage in combat with other players, touch the effigy of Maraka in a coliseum. Duels in which combatants fight one 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 can be undertaken in this venue. That's actually kind of cool. Am I gonna get like laid out if I do this? Number of combat. Oh, interesting. I didn't know this was a thing. I, I know they talked about implementing something like this a while ago, but I missed it. I wasn't here for it. Oh, I got something that I wanted to see. What was it called? This. Raises defense when HP is at the maximum. That would probably be decent for, like, running naked, no armor. It's not bad to begin with, you just need to stay at full health. Climb up the branch, okay. All right, I just have so much to explore in the city. Let's do it. Let's rip up this little under area real quick. Because there's not too much here. doggos. I see doggos. I was kind of hoping for a checkpoint. Oh, dude, it's like the round table.
What's happening? Ain't nobody here. A coated sword. Oh, dude, I think that's like a faith-based sword. It's kind of like the the cipher pata, but you know, sword sized. We'll come back to that. We'll go down there. Man, I wish I could get a smithing stone eight. Wait a second. Oh, I know where I'm at. Nice hat, dude. Wonder what they're cooking. It looks delicious. <laughs> they're just in here like eating, dude. Like, forget the war. You know? Let's not worry about any of that. Let's um Ooh, we got a prayer book. Uh yeah. Let's not worry about none of the battles of the fights of the wars or everybody dying. Let's just uh let's have a bite to eat. Okay, I bit off a little bit more than I thought I did. Let's do like this little area here, this room. And we'll, we'll ditch that segment outside for now. They're cooking crab? I hope they're cooking lobster. Oh, well, I gotta put these guys down. I can't lock on to them. But it'd help if I could lock on to them. Do it, buddy. It's just a little itty bitty grudge, it's nothing. Somber smithing stone, okay. That does seem familiar. Where does this go? It's gotta go up, right? I definitely, like, just got totally sidetracked. Okay. Uh, I was supposed to go over there at the top of my hat. <laughs> I don't know how I managed to get over here so quickly, but I'm really, I'm desperately looking for a checkpoint. So I don't have to, like, keep running back and forth. That? Uh ah, huh. Uh-oh. Wait, I've been here. Oh, wait, okay. 
How did I get here, though? That's so confusing. Keep it over there, dude. How is that possible that I got there? Okay, that's... I was up there before, and there's a sniper over there. Come back to this. Let's go fight our mans. You really want to see me do this fight, don't you? It's a tough fight, dude. Okay, I didn't mean to fall down there, but I got some here anyway. <sighs> I just gotta like mentally prepare myself here because this is gonna be tough. We're, we're, we may end up being here for quite a while. Gotta get the loot, that's all. Hey, I got a sword spear from him. That's cool. This is not the fight that I was referencing. Okay! Nice little warm up, that's, that's what that is.
What? Shocked. Shocked. Why on earth would you be shocked? I need stamina recovery on the wondrous physic because I have a talisman that does it for me. So what I'm gonna do is take the stone barb, I think, so that we can break their stance faster. Eliminates all FP consumption. Wow. Significantly negates damage. Temporarily boosts all damage negation in Physic. Significantly negates damage in Mixed Physic. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, I think that's the bubble that goes around me for one hit. What's up, Alistair? Yeah, the next fight's not going to be as easy as that. You're right. Boost resistance and heals status. Briefly stops rune loss. That's interesting. Enhances charged attacks. Alright. I think I'm going to take the fire damage because that's kind of what we're rocking. And, I, dude, I hate to say this, but I have to pee so bad. I've peed like eight times today. There's something wrong with me. I'll be right back. Let's get this, man. Yeah, dude, I... What has it been? Uh, I think I've peed four times on stream now. <laughs> and twice before I even started. So, like, six times today. That's a lot of peas, dude. Bro, the finger ladies, what happened? What did I ask? 
Okay, I guess I can't do that. Uh, what? Alistair, what are you talking about, man? What the heck, dude? I'm gonna assume that's a no, you haven't beaten Vox yet. Oh, you have? Oh, okay. Dude, am I... Am I losing my mind? There's two Dream Masters now? What the heck? <laughs> How did this guy die? Did he jump off the ledge? <laughs> All right. I'm going to end up turned around. I'm going to be like, I don't know where I've been. I don't know where to go. Um, just because like when we come out of this fight, I'm going to be frust flustered. I'm going to be worked up and I'm going to forget everything that I've done in the last like four, three hours. It's kind of peaceful out here, man. Nobody's trying to kill us. You're the upgraded version. <laughs> Sweet. A little bow action. I reach that. What? What? Nothing. You know what? You know what? You know, dude, that, Bryson gets that crap stuck in my head. He'll be like, you know what? You know what? I'm like, shut up. How'd he miss? That guy sucked. He should be ashamed of himself. I heard that there is a very particular reason why, uh, why these drapes are, uh, solid. <laughs> Breathe, baby. Breathe. <laughs> Cutscenes. Yeah, give me cutscene. Dude, I love these cutscenes. They're so good, dude. Be prepared to crack like 60 or 80 deaths. Graceless, tarnished. What is thy business with these thrones? Yeah, we thought he was dead, dude. Ah. Godric the Golden. I don't know, I was mimicking the background Nicola music, dude. Of 
Look, look at them feet, dude. <laughs> Praetor Reichard. Dead. Luna Princess. Dead. Rani. Dead. All of them. Your next. Willful traitors. All. Oh, that's not the attitude. <laughs> He's just like Thy talking about all his family and all. That. All of a piece. Pillagers emboldened by the flame of ambition. Oh, cool guy. Have it writ upon thy meager grave. Felled by King Morgoth. Last of all kings. <laughs> First try, baby. No deaths. If you're not first, you're last. Ricky Bobby, my idol. <laughs> I didn't think I would kill him so fast, dude. I didn't realize I was gonna do that much damage. Bro, what do you think that says? You think this is amateur? No, oh, we're not done. <laughs> Am I stuck in here? <laughs> Bro, we put him in the dirt. The only reason I was able to do that much damage is because he couldn't stagger me with his attack that he was hitting me with. I got hit like three times, and if I got staggered or knocked off my feet right there, I'd have been, I'd have been sort of in trouble. I wouldn't have been able to, uh, to get him. Impenetrable thorns refuse all none may enter the ad tree. Oh, now there's a grace. She's like, holy crap, you're alive. Hello again, <laughs> old friend. Allow me a moment to converse with you. You are unable to enter the Erd Tree, no? Prevented by the mantle of barbs. The thorns are impenetrable. A husk of the Erd Tree's being that spurns all that exists without. The only way to stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord is to pass the thorns. My purpose serves to aid in that very act. So I'd like you to undertake a new journey with me to the flame of ruin far above the clouds upon the snowy mountain tops of the giants then i can set the earth tree aflame and guide you down the path to becoming elden lord okay um, the next time we Shall come I back through here, my hand share them. it's probably not going to be that easy. Your thoughts, your ambitions, the principles you would follow. All 
All right, so now she wants us to go back to this gateway. But we're not going to do that yet. So we we killed Morgat, which means this road is open now. And we can get all the way up here. Which I, I think that, yeah, that's the lift of the of rolled. So we are missing something um, that is, I believe, in Liurnia somewhere. Um, there is another half of a secret medallion that we have not found yet. Oh, speaking of something that I, we haven't found yet, we missed this. How do we get there? I could have sworn at the lake of, like, this la like mini lake of rot. I thought we could enter through here. And like work our way up and around, but I believe it's blocked off entirely. So like maybe this dragon barrow thing here will give us an entry point. But there are so there's two halves of what's called a secret medallion, which is where you go to fight Melania. And uh I've never been there before. I have never fought Melania. So yay. Okay, let's go back. Um, let's go back to the Forsaken Devs, uh, not the Rampart. No, no. I could have sworn there was a, a way, uh, um, a grace like right where that killed what's his face, Moog. This should be open now, though. Yeah, there is a... Maybe I didn't touch it. Oh, no, it's the Cathedral for the Forsaken. Okay. Sorry, I thought that this checkpoint that we're hitting now was up above us. That's my B, dude. My biggity B, dude. There we are. This reminds me of Sekiro. Fifteen deaths just because of that. All right, and there's still like a million things that we have not discovered um, in the capital of Lendell, right? So there's a lot to do there. We just got to do some exploring, but I, I think we've pretty much like exceeded our expectations here for today. <laughs> Where are my credits at, man? You gotta love the music, man. Oh. Uh, where's my torch? Torch. Torch. A torch. Oh, wait a second. Hold on.
I shouldn't have killed him. Hold on, we gotta go hit a checkpoint and come back. We got, I think they throw, like, frenzy... Um, some sort of fire. Or oh, wait, can I do it? I think those guys destroy those things, and that's how I get that item. I'm not sure why this location is so important and secretive and fantastic. They were like, you have to kill Morgat first. Got to. I'm like, okay. <sighs> Simon. I know, right? Only 20 deaths. That's what I'm saying. I killed two big chunking bosses first try without dying once. I feel good about it. I think it stays broken. I think I gotta do that again. Oh, it does stay broken. Wait. No, it doesn't. I'm tripping. Dude, they do a lot of damage, and you need them to attack you like that in order to break the items. Uh, I mean, I guess I could use the same attack, um, but it's I, I want to say it's easier because, yeah, I got frenzied, right? No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He didn't do nothing. I know. Yeah, it almost happened a third time just then. Holy crap, I thought I died again, dude. I was gonna friggin' lose it. I don't even know what that item is or what it's for, man. Oops. It's a, it's a crafting item. That makes sense. Can I just leave him here? I'm gonna leave him there. I kind of like the music. Okay, this is where things get actually difficult. <laughs> Whew!
<laughs> uh. <laughs> uh huh. Mm hmm. <laughs> I'm doing good. is it? Hi. Hi. Buddy. Come, come, come. I need you to, uh, not kill me over here. Come, come. What is he just... What the heck? Hey! Okay. Whatever, dude. I, I'm not sure if I have um, enough points to use this spell. Oh, I'd have to memorize the spell, though, don't I? What if I did? What if I crafted, like, something like this? I think it has to be madness. He became paralyzed? I mean, I only hit him one time. I mean, he wouldn't even aggro me. I guess we'll come back. I wasn't ready. I know where I'm at. Alright. I don't think we want to do this. Uh, like, okay, so this is like a turning point in the campaign for us. Trust, trust. Uh, see, that's the type of thing that is like, makes me regain trust in all of the, uh, the markers at walls that's like, secret passage here, secret passage there, over here, try here, go over there. Like, yeah, okay. I, uh, well, every now and then it's right. <laughs> uh, so this, I believe, is the frenzied flame. And I don't think I want to, like, become frenzied. I don't even think I can open this door. Dang it. All right, let's go do this again. But I can try to memorize that spell now. No, that's not the same ability that they're using. Let's just try not to kill him this time.
No, dude. What? I definitely added a death. <laughs> Assuming I was dead, dude. I guess we can take that bad boy out. Alright, 14th time is the charm. That's what I hear. I did it. Okay. I should be ashamed of myself, dude. That's terrible. I'm gonna get this item. <laughs> and then we're gonna move forward. <laughs> yeah, really. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I don't have patience, right? You good now? This guy's disgusting. How hard do I have to hit you? Buddy, I need you to follow me up the staircase. He's broken. You too, buddy. Come on. Oh, you're okay. I didn't even know this other guy was here. Are you gonna get over here, dude? My goodness. He might be blind. He might also not have any sensory, yeah, like information at all. He might not be able to hear or taste or smell or even feel anything. For all he knows, a, a ghost hit him. The note on Mikola's needle. We should read that. Okay. The Empire Emp the lady crafted a needle to resist the influence of outer gods. Those who have inherited the frenzy of flame yet wish not to become its lord would yet wish not to become its lord would do well to seek Michaela's needle. Wait, so if we... Well, I guess what that means is that if we find Mikola's needle... 
we can negate the frenzy flame. Oh, oh my, oh no, no, Shindo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Do I have Michaela's needle? Probably not. I have the gold sewing needle and the gold tailoring tools. Not the needle. Uh, it, it's a line from an anime from like way back in the day. Hang on. Let's watch it real quick. Nah, it's not Naruto. What's <laughs> what's up, Bryson? Good timing, dude. If if anybody can name that anime, do it. Let me know. Uh, like the 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 word nani, it means what, right? And uh, it you hear that word like in a bunch of animes, but that's I believe where the meme itself came from. Nani, well. <laughs> uh, what was I doing? What, okay, so we could hit the frenzied flame, is what we we were saying, right? Um. I don't know. Let's goof around. It, okay, so here's the deal. If we get the frenzied flame, ideally, we find Mikola's needle first before we beat the game. I can't even open this door. I thought I had to, like, absorb myself into this. Fist of the North Star. And, oh, this guy. This guy. <laughs> well done, Simon. I'm impressed. Okay, let's go, it's, before we go way north, right, um, cause this is our next step, basically, we're gonna hit the, the north north, well, not, uh, not copyright if it's not music, music is the real copyright issue, um, no, that, that should be okay, I don't know, if they have a problem with it, then I'll just, like, chop it out of the stream or whatever, or they can, it's not like I'm making any money off of YouTube anyway, so, whatever. Uh, oh, I need to be naked to get to the door open. Uh, good shout. But do I? <laughs> Bryson, shut up, dude. <laughs> oh, this is freaking dude. Um, stop, I'm blushing. <laughs> Let's uh, explore the capital a little bit more because there's a lot of stuff that we missed. We just kind of skipped past things that did the boss fight. That's not where I wanted to be. Is it? I think it is, actually. I'm so turned around in the city, dude. I don't know where I'm at, where anything is. I don't know why he just stood there. I guess he gave up. Okay, we have to climb this, like, all the way to the top, and I don't remember where to go, or how to do it. There's some stuff at the top. Some stiff. 
Yeah, we gotta get to the base of that sword or something like that. Mm, Bryce Holland? Will you be playing Helldivers this weekend? Because tomorrow, Zach and I talked about doing Helldivers. Okay, good aim, dude. Did I go this way? Yes, yes I did. Yeah, you'll play Helldivers? Okay, I can't jump down there. Is Helldivers a sci-fi game? Uh, I guess so, in a way. Um, so, the basic gist of Helldivers is that, uh, <clears throat> human beings have, like, congregated and become, like, Super Earth, right? And Super Earth is trying to be overran by many different factions. Right now, there's two of them. The Terminids, which are kind of like bug alien creatures, and then the Automatons, which are robots, right? Um, and, uh, your goal is to defend it by doing, going to planets and trying to push back the other enemies and, uh, completing objectives and missions and collecting stuff. You gain currency, you gain items, you gain materials, you upgrade your ship, you upgrade yourself, your weapons, your armor, um, you get stronger, you do better missions, blah, 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 blah. It's really good, dude. It is a ton of fun, um... Like, I don't think anybody, even the developers of the game, expected it to be so popular and enjoyable. It is freaking fun, dude. We're, we're having so much fun with it. We're having so much fun that Zach and I are pretty much max level already. And, uh, we've already bought every single thing in the game. We have nothing left to buy. We're just playing it to play it now because it's that much fun, right? And, uh, they're expanding the lore as we continue. Go to the big double door. Hold on. Let me handle this freaking prick first. thinking wait can I even get in there I don't know if I can make that I need these items I can't walk away without all the loot even though that's trash and I did not need it <laughs> uh. Ah. I just, I couldn't know, you know? Yep. Yeah. We got big hops and I cannot lie. I think I could probably wear some thick boy armor here. And like not have to worry about heavy rolling. Oh, that makes me heavy. Okay, maybe let's stick with the beast champion. That works. 
All right, big thick boy double doors. Wait, those thick boy double doors? Yikes, dude. Well played. I want to get to the base of that sword. Don't you dare, dude. He was going to call his friends. Got some boots that I'll never wear. Near where I fought the Erdtree Avatar. Was it was I not like right around here? I'm pretty sure I was like in the middle of this street. Okay, I've been that way. It was like right around here. Uh, and then I, I believe I was in here. Keep going straight. Wait, these double doors? Oh, wait, you're trying to direct me up here. I don't want to go up there yet. Because that's where this leads. I mean, we could go get a checkpoint, but I'm not done in the city. Uh, like, there's still a few things that I've missed in the city. You want to see me fight the fire giant? Bryson, stop jumping over my head. Jeez. Goodness. The fire giant's a hard fight, man. All right, I'll get the grace. What the heck? <laughs> Have fun with your flowers, buddy. Can I first try the fire giant? I doubt it. I mean, I wish I could freaking get on my horse, man. It's so obnoxious that you can't. It's like, why not? I think you used to be able to. It just takes so long to run around because there's no checkpoints in this map. There's really not that much to explore in the city left. There's a few rooftops with items on top and then, and then there's like that one segment where the base of that sword connects to the ground. That is a place that I would need to discover yet. If you could first try Golden Godfrey and Morgan, anything's possible. I, yeah, but dude, the, the thing is, man, your live chat's broken. Your live chat's broken in laptop. The thing is with the fire giant is that he has a massive amount of health, right? I fight him with my hands. I'm going to. I'm going to fight him with this sword, man. Um, 
What was I gonna say? Oh, about the fire giant. I can't kill him nearly as fast as I'll be. I was able to kill the other guys, right? It's not gonna happen that quickly. Which, the longer the fight is drawn out, the more times I have to dodge stuff and try not to die, right? Um, which I think is the only reason why I was able to kill both Golden Godfrey and Morgoth first tries, because I was just clapping them. Simon, I, I would try to refresh YouTube. In my laptop, it's showing my chat only and mobile. It's showing everybody else's. Really? I, I would, like, completely close out YouTube. Like, close the, uh, the browser out. And then, um, reload it. Swords don't count, dude. You can't kill stuff without a, a weapon in this game, dude. You have to have at least a sword. Lock, thank you. Ooh, that's a bad way to go out. Can I finally? Nope, still can't get on my horse. Or a magic staff? Yeah. Well, that's the thing is like I, I haven't used a single summon the whole playthrough. I haven't used a, any magic. Um, other than, like, cleansing magic, which is a little bit different, I think. Oh. What the heck? <laughs> What's he doing, man? Now it's working? Yeah, dude, YouTube does get drunk. Like, I don't know, YouTube likes the, uh, the dark liquor. Like, dude, my chat doesn't work sometimes. Like, uh, every time I start a stream, I'm like, all right, is YouTube going to work today or is it not going to work today? Like, I, I was doing a, um, a Skyrim stream a little while ago well, before we beat the series. And, dude, I, I was by myself. I swear, I was like, I was an empty chat for like four hours, dog. I was getting it. I was playing games. I was talking to myself all day. I was trying to be a streamer with an empty chat. <laughs> and, uh, like... I, then I got like friggin 30 discord messages dad bod and a couple other people are like dude your chat's broken something's wrong I was like Ugh! I had to shut everything down reset everything and I, I pulled it up and I r went back through the YouTube chat and I was like everybody's upset Every dude there were people that were coming to my channel brand new that were like this guy's a friggin prick like he doesn't read chat I'm leaving I'm going somewhere where people talk to me <laughs> like it's like dude I'm so sorry, man. My goodness. Yeah, YouTube drinks something, dude. <laughs> They're really on something, the fact that they don't promote my videos. Like, it's crazy that my streams are the most popular thing that I am able to put on YouTube. It's because, like, most people, like, they search my, my... They either are already subscribed, and they search my stuff, like, on their own. Um... Or like it's recommended by other people, right? Uh, there's, what's up, Alistair? My, my like, my videos are never promoted, and uh, I can't figure out why. I, YouTube's like prejudiced against me because like I don't I don't cuss and I don't shake my butt on camera, because like that's about all YouTube really cares for anymore. Alright, we're not going. We're not doing this here. We got the checkpoint, we're ready to move forward. Wait, how do I- how dare I not speak a who? What you talking about, Willie? I think I want to go back to the avenue balcony. Dude, my back is jacked today.
Did I go that way? I think I did. It's me. <laughs> Am I the problem? I mean, it totally could be, but I, I don't know, like, the people that do find my channel, um, frequent, right? They come back all the time. Um, it's not like I, I, my content and, um, oh, the one, <laughs> you're talking about Bryson. Uh, it's not like my content, um, doesn't appeal to a certain, like, group of people or demographic, right? Like, people like what I do and they like my streams they like uh, my videos um, it's just that YouTube does not favor it when it comes to the algorithm um, what YouTube favors is like nonsense dude it's garbage like dude I, like I've been I've been so crushed about like uh shut up <laughs> I've been so crushed about like um my own algorithm on YouTube. Like, you know, I, I don't know if you guys know, but like, nah. stop. Hold on, let me focus. Okay, so you can like, it's, <laughs> <laughs> well done, Dream. Um, you can, like, select a video. Say you come across a video on YouTube and you don't like it. You can, like, give a reason. First of all, you can say, like, don't show me this channel anymore and give a reason as to why. Or you can say, like, not interested in this type of video and this is why, right? And, like, I'm pretty proactive when it comes to using that, like, tool on YouTube. Um, so, like, every time I find videos that are being recommended to me or being forced into my feed that are like just filled with vulgarity or like you know uh, women like getting naked I, like I just look if I wanted to see women get naked there's websites for that I don't need to see it on YouTube I come to YouTube for other things right um so like I I get rid of that stuff I'm like don't recommend this channel don't recommend these videos and I'm constantly every single day uh, like, if I'm on YouTube, I'm doing that. I'm, I'm like, don't recommend this. Don't recommend this. And it just, the more I do it, the more I say, don't recommend this to me, the more they show that crap to me. And, like, I almost don't want to watch YouTube myself anymore. Like, which is crazy, because, like, this is what I want to make my life out of. Like, I want to make a career out of this one day. And, like, I don't feel like I want to watch the platform that I want to create content for. So like maybe, maybe uh, I'm, I'm considering switching to Twitch. Um, if you use a different account with the same internet and like a YouTube channel, will, oh wait, and, and like a YouTube channel, YouTube will remove likes. Well, wait, I've noticed that, uh, like, I, I don't know if it's, like, a, a latency thing. Like, if it takes time to update that kind of stuff. I shouldn't have jumped over this ledge. I've already been here. And now I don't think I can get back up there from here. I have to go all the way around. Um, YouTube seems to take quite a long time to update. Like, people will view my videos, right? And they'll like the video, they'll comment on the video, but it'll be, like, two days until, like, that kind of stuff updates. Like, if I'm in my, my YouTube studio, like trying to monitor statistics or um, different things of that sort um, YouTube takes forever to update and I know that there's like a bazillion people that make YouTube videos every single day right They're they obviously have their hands full when it comes to that kind of stuff but it is a bit frustrating right and especially coming from the perspective of a smaller content creator right like I, I just cracked 500 subs just the other day right um, which in my eyes, it's fantastic, but in YouTube's eyes, they could care less. Like, they're not making any money off of me. Um, so why would they promote my videos? Is, like, at least the question that I'm asking, right? Like, is it because I'm a small content creator that I'm, my videos aren't being promoted because they make no money off of a small content creator? So, like, it's a snowball effect, right? Like, the most popular content creators 
that make the most amount of money for YouTube um, are the ones that are promoted primarily um, and favored in that sense, right? Um, whereas, like, all these people that are trying to start brand new accounts that are like, I want to make a career out of this one day, they're shoehorned into creating that specific type of content that is made by those channels that are already popular. Whereas, if you're trying to carve your own path, if you're trying to, like, oh, I don't want to be here. I made a wrong turn again. Um, if you're trying to, like, make your own style of stuff, if you're trying to be yourself or, like, be different than everybody else, you are uh, kind of just, like, ran over by all the other gobbledygook garbage that is on the platform that is favored by the algorithm, right? Because I... And the algorithm, man, like, I, I've been... Because I'm a content creator, I try to take every survey I can. Right? Every time YouTube's like, hey, we have a survey, would you like to try it? Yes, give it to me. Let me let me give you my feedback from a consumer standpoint and a creator standpoint, right? Um, because I've been watching YouTube since I was like in diapers, basically. Not really, but you know what I mean. Um, and I, I, as a creator, although I'm quite new to the creation aspect of it, I feel like at this point, it's been like seven, eight months. I have a pretty decent idea uh, of what it's like, right? I, I, I know what works, I know what doesn't work. Um, and even when I do things that do work, that I'm like, all right, I'm gonna just like take the, the, uh, take the, uh, the idea, like not like steal people's content. That's not what I mean by that. Like, I'm gonna go out of my way to like follow trends, right? And I'll put up a video up on that that follows the trends, and they still don't get promoted by YouTube. I'm like, okay, it's more than just the trend thing. It's like an algorithm thing, right? And um, when it comes to talking about the, or excuse me, when it comes to, um, yeah, <laughs> when it comes to the surveys and stuff, and like providing feedback to YouTube, uh, I appreciate the fact that they're like, hey, we want to. We want your feedback. We want to hear from you. But then, no, it never gets, like, recognized or, like, acknowledged in a way that feels impactful. Right? I feel like my- I'm just, like, talking into the- the wind. What is down here? Where am I? I'm lost, dude. Idea where I'm at. I mean, I know where I'm at, but like, how the heck do I get up on that sword, dude? I don't know. I I don't know what you guys think, um, but I think the algorithm for YouTube is hot trash. I feel like they do a horrible job at supporting both the consumers, the consumer faction of YouTube, and the creators faction of YouTube. I feel like both of them don't get what they deserve when it comes to the platform itself, right? Like, uh, YouTube is like money, 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 money. TikTok's the worst, was the worst trend. It's, I would say, still is the worst trend. Um, and you saw that with the implementation of shorts on YouTube. And shorts just trashed the, the whole thing, dude. Like, streaming on YouTube is like nothing. N nobody watches live streams anymore. Everybody sits there and soaks up and absorbs the shorts. The the only reason why YouTube put shorts on you on the platform to begin with is because they had to. People were leaving YouTube and going to things like TikTok so that they could get this content in that form. And YouTube was like, well, if we want to keep our platform alive, we have to do this, we have to do that. And they implemented shorts. And shorts just crushed all the different content creation, right? Um, they, it crushed live streams from the perspective of, like, YouTube, right? If you want live streams, man, it's better for Twitch. It's better to go to Twitch. Um, and it, it, from both a consumer and a creator standpoint, it's better for Twitch just to do live streams. Just because of what YouTube has done to their platform with things like shorts. Um, after, wait, wait. How is, I, I don't know, I, 
Twitter, I, I've never been interested in. Like, I know a lot about TikTok, but I've never used it. I, I don't know anything about Twitter because I've never used it, right? Yeah, that's a big hop, dude. I do think that uh, I would be heavily interested in, in moving to Twitch, probably in the near future. Um, I just feel like the uh, the, the benefit or the the growth as a creator, a small content creator on YouTube, when you do things like what I'm trying to do, when you're not making TikToks, you're not like following the, the latest trends constantly, you're not like doing this, you're doing that. Like I'm trying to do my own thing and it's just not rewarded, man. There's nothing in it for me. Um, that doesn't mean that the channel's not growing at all, right? It's just incredibly slow because of the way the algorithm works. Like, if the algorithm would actually promote my videos, I feel like the channel would grow a lot faster because people do like the content. People, like, do want to see the streams. Yeah, X. Yeah, that's what it's called now, right? Not Twitter. Um, I don't know. And I feel like I've gotten a lot better at content creating, um, not just from a live stream perspective, but also from, like, video editing and, and even shorts, right? Because you have to use shorts. If you don't do shorts on YouTube, your channel will not grow at all, and you will make nothing. You will, like, nobody is ever going to see your channel. That's just how it is. Um, like, I, it, when I go into my, my studio, my YouTube studio, and I'm like, hey, like, like I'm looking for statistics, right? Um, it's like over 80% of the people that find my channel find it from shorts, right? So like the shorts that I put out there, although pretty lowly promoted, still are a majority of the growth of my channel. And I, I don't think that that's like, that's not the idea I had. That's not what I wanted. Um, that's not the kind of content that I enjoy consuming. It's not the kind of content that I really enjoy creating. Um, unfortunately, it's like people are dumb <laughs> and and our brains are like twisted and broken and, and manipulated. <laughs> and all the majority of people want is shorts now, right? They just want to sit there and scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll and instant gratification as fast as you can. Gimme, 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 right? Um, Wait. What? Bro, I just fell down the same stupid hole that I just got lost in. Oh, saw the X does- oh well. I mean, that's a miscommunication problem there. That father needs to be a little bit more, um, considerate. But yeah, I can see where that would be mistaken. Oh my. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> Dude, I cannot find a way up this stupid sword. How do I get up there? Let's try a different way. Let's try a whole different direction. I don't know, if YouTube, like... Because I, I don't think that Twitch does uh, shorts at all. I don't think that that's a thing on on Twitch. Which um, I kind of, like, find much more appealing from a consumer standpoint and a creator standpoint. I'm gonna end up down there at the base of the tree, right? Or wait. Are we meatballs or meatballs type people? The second one. The second one. But only in writing.
Bryson, I want to know your perspective because you love TikTok. I, I know that like you spend a lot of time on TikTok. I don't mean to be, I'm not trying to like be rude <laughs> or blow you up at all, but um, you spend a lot of time on TikTok. When you spend time on YouTube, like, do you feel as though your algorithm that is promoting the videos to you favors you as a person, as a consumer? Like, do you think that the algorithm gives you what you want? Because, like, I hate YouTube algorithm, dude. Like, I just, I, I can't, I can't, I, I spend, like, 98% of my time just friggin' looking for something that is even remotely interesting. It sucks, dude. Your brain dead? I didn't say that. But, you did. The algorithm sucks. All right. All right. It's bad, right? Like, I don't know if I've ever met anybody that's like, yeah, dude, I'm glad that the algorithm promotes all this trash to me. Alistair can control the YouTube algorithm? Well, he needs to fix mine, because mine's bad. Got it. <laughs> it took a minute. What? Bryson, I'm confused now. I don't understand what you mean. Wait, I missed your question. Alistair can control? Wait. The only thing I see from you recently... Oh, does Beaver love meatballs? My bad. Sorry, I did miss that, didn't I? Uh, yeah. I, I like meatballs. I do. <laughs> uh, dude, there's nothing I love more than, like, spaghetti and meatballs. Except for a lot of other things in life, but... Th those are... They make me happy. Finally made it up here. I don't know. Well, thinking like critically, man, when it comes to the YouTube algorithm and the way they promote content uh, to you as a consumer perspective, right? Uh, they offer you tools to make the algorithm better in your favor, right? Uh, so that you are to spend more time on the platform so that you consume more content um but their algorithm man sucks and i'm like how is it that that's benefiting both the consumers the creators and you i don't understand how that like works ouch dude To be honest, man, let's go. Let's move forward. I I think I'm cool. That's the that's the last item that I wanted to get. I don't, I don't think I need to be up there anymore. And uh, although that was like 116,000 credits, okay, whatever, dude. Oh, you know what we should do? We should visit the round table again. Let's do that real quick before we get up here. I don't know, it, like, to make a, to draw, like, a, a, a lateral comparison, to, like, to kind of describe my perspective of the YouTube algorithm and uh, its relation to consumers and creators and YouTube itself, the company itself, I, like, if somebody gave me a hammer and a bucket of screws, I'd be freaking, like, frustrated. 
they were like, all right, go build this house with a hammer and a bucket of screws, right? Uh, like, it makes no sense. Like, so, what? and what I mean by that is, like, the tools that YouTube gives you to help the algorithm favor you, right? This, like, don't recommend this channel. Don't recommend this. Or, like, you doing comments, uh, doing likes for the videos, right? Interacting with the channel uh, more than just, like, staring at the screen, right? That kind of stuff is what favors channels uh, and promotes things and helps the algorithm push it. Um, none of that seems to really work properly. Now, I, I don't necessarily have an answer for it. I don't know how you'd fix it, but it does feel as though all of these tools don't work. Um, and I don't think I'm the only person that feels that way. Because everybody I talk to seems to have a, if not similar, identical thought and feeling about how YouTube recommends stuff. The fingers remain still, shaken by this turn of events. They are busy consulting the greater will. When they are finished, the fingers will again offer their guidance. But thousands... If not tens of thousands of moons must first pass. No matter for me, but you. How will you ever manage to wait? My, oh my. <laughs> this lady. Um, okay, so Simon, when you... When you put it that way, when you, when you say like, hey, I watched a trailer for a game that I wanted to play, but I didn't want spoilers. I just wanted to like get a taste, right? Bro, it, if I go to Krispy Kreme and I get a freaking donut and eat it, I don't want everybody and their mother coming to me with a box of donuts saying, here, eat these donuts. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I, I don't want diabetes. I want a donut now and then, right? Um, and... When it comes to YouTube and their promotion for videos like that, that's that's just like a foresight that they're not capable of producing, right? Um, they don't see it as like the way we see it, right? They see it as like, you like this? Here, have more of this. You want this? Have more of this. Um, the, the problem is that like, when I say I don't want this, I don't like this, they still shove it down your throat and it makes no sense. It, and it's only, in, from my understanding, the only reason all this garbage that it, if you're like, don't put this on me, I don't want to see this content, do not show me this channel, I don't want this content, they will not only pr continue to promote it, um, I don't know, I don't know what would, the only thing I could assume that would make them continue to promote that kind of stuff is because other people still want to see this content. Just because you don't want to see it doesn't mean everybody else doesn't want to see it, and everybody else wants to see it means you want to see it. That seems to be the way YouTube perceives things through an algorithm perspective, right? Um, and that's friggin' wrong, dude. Like, I, I just don't think that all of the tools that are implemented for the algorithm are aligned and working properly, because they seem to all work against each other. Like, the, the don't recommend this channel, don't recommend this content, because blah, blah, blah. These are tools that seem to be counterproductive from the perspective of other people viewed this video, so it's going to promote this video. Other people commented and liked this video, so it's going to promote this video. They, they don't seem to work together, they work against each other. And um, when it comes to other people and their favors for the videos and content that seems to outweigh all these other tools that you can use to kind of like work your own like personalized channel right from a com consumer standpoint i don't know how you fix that I, I they need to like they need to do something because like it's crushing it's crushing viewership like it's not just crushing creators it's crushing consumers too because like um i still want to make content even though my stuff's not promoted i still want to do youtube and make videos even though nobody watches my stuff right um i don't want to watch videos i don't like going to youtube for entertainment anymore i come here as a creator mostly from a consumer dude i'm not interested 
Uh, like, I, I don't care about 99% of the crap that they put on me, and I continue to say, like, don't want this, don't want this, don't want this, and they keep pushing it. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm just not going to watch YouTube. I'm going to go somewhere else, right? So, like, how can they... I don't know. It, it just feels like... Like, what are they doing? Like, I, I feel like if I was running YouTube and I saw that, I'd be like, dude, something's wrong here. We're losing consumers. Like, people are no longer watching YouTube because of this, that, that, and this. Like, maybe let's do something, right? But maybe, like, maybe the problem is, like, in the pudding, right? Maybe, like, that's the issue is, like, they're making so much money that they don't care. They don't even see these, these issues because, like, when it comes to ad revenue, when it comes to viewership, there are still enough people out there consuming the content, uh, clicking on ads and stuff, and YouTube is making uh, a, an exorbitant amount of money off of that, off of what people are doing. And it's it doesn't matter that the margins are, are thinner than they could be because they're so thick you can't tell, right? Because I'm assuming... Because this is, seems to be the way the world works. This seems to be way, the way most companies work is that uh, it's all about the money and nothing else. It means nothing means anything unless the numbers say so, right? Um, and the numbers on you, like YouTube's a massive company, dude. They're making so much money that like they probably could care, couldn't care less about that kind of stuff, right? So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe one day, like, the platform will struggle and suffer the enough that they'll have to do something. And if that happens, and you say uh, you maybe we return to, like, the OG YouTube death, days. The like, what YouTube was like, like, six or eight years ago. Like, in its prime, both the for content creators and consumers. Death. The forbidden shadow plucked from the golden order upon its creation. Uh, unleashing the room now would be unthinkable. The fingers would never permit it. Nor would the greater will. But here we are. The fingers dormant, severing our link to the greater will. The realm and all life in ruins. Impossible events transpire beyond the ken of the fingers. Who is to say that the cardinal sin must be cardinal forever? Go on. Finish the job. Take the course you deem most worthy. So she, she's cool with it. I don't know. Sorry, I'm, I'm still stuck on this, like, algorithm thing. I, I think that probably in the future, like, how I don't know how long it would take for this to happen, but if, if YouTube is going to take the step to make things better both for consumers and for creators, um, it would be in the guise of money, right? The only way that that's going to happen is if a competitor shows up and says, hey, we're going to do the same thing you're doing, but we're going to do it better. And they start pulling numbers away from YouTube, right? Because YouTube has a, a, a basically a, a monopoly on, on this kind of thing that they have going for them, right? Like, I don't think there's any other platform or company or anything at, at all out there that does what YouTube does and has an impact on the world in any sort of way, right? Like, the, of course, there's stuff out there that is similar, but YouTube, it runs like 99.155% of it, right? So the only way you're going to see a significant change in the way YouTube does their things is if somebody comes along and says, hey, we're better. And everybody's like, well, that's better. I'm going to go over there instead, right? Um, you're just watching people fighting over solo leveling? What, on this game? Well, I'm not sure what you mean, solo leveling. You must find kindling. Only the smoldering flame in the great forge of the giants on the highest peak in the lands between can burn the earth tree. But special kindling 
is required to reignite the flame. We already know what it is. To burn the earth tree. We need to go to the Sacrifice the forge up in the mountains. And can lead you to the rune of death. Um I mean A regal omen baron. Uses FP to unleash many wraiths that chase down enemies. Interesting. Now go flood the words of Oh, it's an anime. I gotcha. Are you talking about uh sword art? Or probably not. Um, I mean, okay, so not, I will get off this soapbox here soon, I promise. Um, but, like, we saw YouTube make a massive shift in the way they do things when TikTok became popular. When TikTok, like, started to create a different form of content that seemed to be way, way more um, uh, consumable, when I, right? Um... YouTube said, hey, we need to do something or else everybody that watches YouTube is going to leave and go watch TikTok, right? Um, so, like, I, I think that that's probably the ticket to make YouTube better, to bring YouTube back to what... Maybe not back to the OG YouTube days. Uh, I don't think that that's ever going to happen, but we could at least take a step forward and make things better for everybody, not just YouTube itself as a company, but also for consumers and uh, creators um, but uh, it's going to take something big right it's going to be some, another platform that comes along and says hey we're going to do like probably all the content better right but they would have to do streaming they would have to do shorts they would have to do regular videos and they'd have to do it better and I don't man that's tough how do you best like YouTube when they come or when it comes to that and uh, think that the way it would have to be done is through the algorithm right the only thing that youtube i think lacks in um when it comes to like a platform that does this type of thing is their algorithm man everybody hates the algorithm yeah consumers and creators it sucks everybody's like this is miserable so like if another company comes along and says we're gonna do this and we're gonna do it better and everybody's gonna love it then youtube might turn around and be like all right we gotta change some things her prompt went away for the dung eater. It's not what you expected from me. Dude, I, well, I don't always go on rants, but so when I get going, it's hard to stop. I took you for no matter which way out your arms. <clears throat> like, I, I don't know. Like, I want to see it be better, right? Because I like YouTube. I, I, when I was younger, man, like, I preferred you like when YouTube became bigger and more popular I preferred YouTube over television right it was just better um, but the content today is freaking trash it's so bad all of it is so bad it's just like there's good stuff out there right it's just watered down with all of the the garbage floating around on the surface um, and I, I feel like it's YouTube's responsibility as a company to, like, step up and say, hey, like, we're going to clean up this mess. And they just don't, right? Because they don't have to. Because, like, why would they if they are already making, like, an exorbitant amount of money? I don't know. That's the way I'm, I'm seeing things, right? Um, and the thing is, if another company comes along and does things better than YouTube, um... YouTube's gonna just, they're not gonna just like change and do things better, they're just gonna die, right? The, the other company's gonna take over and do things uh, better, and that's just gonna you. be it. Everybody's gonna move to that. What is it? What do you mean, what is it? I went there, I did the thing, dude. I did it, I killed him. I went there, what do you mean, what is it? I understand you've been speaking to Nefeli. She's my daughter. I took her in when she lost the guidance of grace. Though a mere axe-wielding barbarian, her youthful credulity suited my purposes. So I put her to work. Do not hesitate to employ her. Should her services benefit you? Despite her looks, she is more than capable in the press of battle. 
about the Lord of Blood's cocoon. Ah, I see. So Mikola was with the Lord of Blood after all. That is some fine intelligence indeed. With it, the final clue has been brought into the light. One of the last few pieces the round table. I need to put everything together. As promised, allow me to impart to you the last of the secret rites known only to me. How about the palace, dude? Oh, so that's where the so-called Lord of Blood was hiding himself, eh? A fitting little squat for that deluded maniac to bleat about the revival of his precious dynasty. While he turns our fellow tarnished into bloody fingers, let him stay there. That way, his delusions will remain as they are, distant and unattainable. But perhaps it's worth looking into. If what I've heard is right, then maybe. Ah, my apologies. Lost myself for a moment there. The information you shared is of great value. As promised. Your reward. And it is a wondrous thing indeed. You are a true fellow. All I ask is that you remain constant. Cool. Unlocated demigods, hit me. Four more demigods yet to be located. Mikola of the Halig Tree. The unalloyed. His twin, Melania. The undefeated swordswoman. Luna Princess Rani, daughter to Renala, and the one only known as the Lord of Blood. Rani is said to have cast aside her great rune. So here at the Hold, we seek the whereabouts of the remaining three shard bearers. If you should learn anything of these matters, I'll trade your findings for a hidden treasure or a long lost rite known only to me. We both desire to stand before the Elden Ring and become Elden Lord. As such, I hope we are compelled to work together. Interesting. Ensha. Oh, my apologies for that nasty business. Ensha got rather ahead of himself, it seems. As his master, I'd like to express my regret. But now, Ensha is slain and gone. Finished. Forevermore. Okay, where do I go now? If you head into the Forge of the Flame of Ruin, in the snowy mountaintops of the Giants, you'll need to find the Grand Lift of Rold, beyond the Forbidden Region. Or go if you would. Take no heed of Cardinal Sin. The Two Fingers lost their purpose a long, long time ago. Interesting he should say that. Um. Okay. Uh, dude, uh, Simon, uh, I think you're right. Um. I think for, like, every person, there's probably two haters. Uh, Alright, let me sh let me share something with you guys. From a, from a creator standpoint. Um. I I've been trying to come up with ideas for, for new videos to make. That is not only going to be entertaining but also educational and appreciated from a gamer's perspective, right? Because, uh, I mean, that's why we're all here, right? We love video games, dude. And we just want to hang out and have a good time, right? Um, so I did some research on uh, Helldivers. I was looking at some of the most popular videos on Helldivers just to get an idea, just to kind of have a brief understanding of, like, what are people interested in? And one of the most recent and most popular videos that I've seen regarding the more recent updates when it comes to Helldivers, because that's what I was kind of looking into was updates. Um, it, it's just like every other video out there, right? It's the same old thumbnail over and over again. Um, and it's the same old British dude that is uh, like just talking into the microphone and playing the game. Um, and it was literally like him just complaining about Helldivers and how, how much he disliked it. And it had like half a million views. It was one of the most viewed videos that was coming out like in the past few days. And um, like, I just, I was, I didn't enjoy the video at all. He, there was no information 
provided whatsoever regarding the update. Um, never once was he was like, hey, this is what the dev said. This is what they did. This is the balance changes. It was just him complaining about how the game has changed and he doesn't like it. And half a million people were like, I like what he's saying, dude. I was like, why are you playing the game if you don't like it? Like, I, that kind of stuff, like, I don't understand why that kind of content is so valuable and so popular. Because, um, like, uh, sure, if people agree with that perspective, it would make sense that they would gravitate towards that. Um, but from a person, from the perspective of somebody that's like, I like the game, I want to just, like, play the game and have a good time, and every now and then I want to like watch a few videos on the game because I like the game. I don't, why would I like, if I don't like the game, like, all right, for example, um, everybody's favorite around this channel is uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. I freaking think that game is horrible. I think the, the whole franchise is dog crap. I have no interest in it. I am never ever going to go on YouTube and look up Five Nights at Freddy's and start watching videos on it, right? Um, so I could care less what the content's like. So uh, when it comes to something that I do like, like Helldivers, why is it that the most popular video that, that has half a million views in a day, within 24 hours, is just somebody complaining about how bad the game is. That kind of stuff blows me away. I'm like, why is that content the most popular? Why is that so favored by the algorithm? Because it's clearly the algorithm that did it. It was at the top of my list. It was at the top of everybody else's because it had half a million views. So, like, if I'm going to make a video about Helldivers, I'm going to make a video that I think is educational, in, uh, at least from the standpoint of like updates and stuff, right? I, I actually released one that was like four minutes long. It was just like me reading off the uh, the the updates and like that. What I made is what I want to see, right? Um, but I don't know. It drives me nuts, dude. I'm like, I just can't comprehend, like, why that's. Wait, people will be like, how, wait, I don't understand what you're saying, Simon. <sighs> ah, man, I, I don't know. It just, it drives me nuts, dude. Oh, like, all right. I know that uh, all of you, like, I've never made a, like, I've never done anything on Twitch, right? Um, so all of you that are here now and those that are even not here now have found me strictly on YouTube. If I switch to Twitch, would any like would anybody also go to Twitch, right? Like, it, you guys that are all here on YouTube now obviously prefer YouTube, right, over Twitch. But like, dude, I, YouTube's so trash in so many different ways that I'm like, I, I, as a consumer and a creator, I think I'd like to go to Twitch. Oh, and people are saying, how dare I? Are they? How dare I have opinions and try to think critically and and come up with solutions to the issues that we're having? <laughs> right? What a ridiculous concept. Why would I want things to be better for everybody? Well, that's so stupid. <laughs> well, why would I want consumers to enjoy things better and creators have a better time as well? That's ridiculous. What a silly assumption. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what is thinking? What even is critical thinking? Why, why do we use our brains? To, oh! Who are you? Is this Roger? Uh, no, nah, Simon, I know where you stand, dude. Like, I want to make, I want to do more than just stream. Don't get me wrong. I think my, my love um, resides with streaming, right? Because um, it, it is, it's just so fun to be able to, like, interact with every one of you and can, uh, why are we here just to suffer? Is That's what I mean. Like, like if everybody doesn't like the algorithm, like, it, we're, we're here because 
we don't have an option. There is no other platform like YouTube that does what they do, right? If, if there was a better option, if there was like a YouTube 2.0 that was way better than YouTube, that like um, benefited both consumers and creators uh, much more significantly than YouTube does now, would we even be here? Like, was there any reason to be at YouTube? Um, and, and like, don't call it YouTube 2.0. Call it like friggin' like something else, right? Give it a different name. It, something different than YouTube that did what YouTube did better. There, there's no reason why anybody would be here, right? The only reason why everybody's here on YouTube is because there's no other options. There's no, like, if you want to see live streams, like, basically what you can do is go to Twitch. That's, a, that's it, really. Um, and Twitch doesn't offer everything else, right? They own, I think they pretty much only offer live streams. And they also kind of struggle when it comes to that too because like from my understanding from what i've heard from people that use twitch the videos that go up on twitch the live streams don't stay up forever like they're up for a few months and then they just get wiped i need to get down there um which is one thing that is appreciated from both consumer and creator standpoints that youtube does is they leave videos up forever like, if you want, you can go on YouTube and find a video that was up 18 years ago, right? Uh, or 16 or whatever. However long YouTube's been up. Um, w which is fantastic, right? That's what you, you would like it to be like that. I'm gonna try to find a way down there. While I complain about YouTube. Um. I don't know. Uh. I guess we're... Oh, that's... Okay. Now I'm seeing... My dilemma. That's why I couldn't get through that crevice, because there's a massive wall there. How do I access that? That's from underground. Why can't I open my map? What the heck? I can't open- oh, there we are. I think I want to go there. I think if we go right to where we're going underground, we can catch that elevator that goes up. This, this, okay. All right, this is the one elevator that we never took down here. Go on a branch and get to that cave. Oh, we'll get there. I think this takes us right up into the cave. If it ever shows up. Dude, that, like, not, alright, I'm, I'm freaking beating the crap out of this dead horse right now. Um, but like, dude, uh, throughout my journey of, of the past, like, six or eight months of, like, being a content creator and meeting so many people from all over the world, um, consumers and creators alike, right? I've met so many, like, incredibly charismatic and, like, highly creative people that have the drive to do something, and those that don't as well right um and have the uh the the desire to to be like a content creator or or just like be a good person in general right um but they just get like railroaded by the algorithm um and it takes like the thickest fattest forehead you've ever seen <laughs> to to like push through and get through the algorithm and like the, when it comes to small content creators, there we are. Yeah, this is where we want to be. Um, there's so much potential out there, man. There's so many, like, incredibly unique and creative and charismatic and loving individuals out there that would totally do, uh, like, content in some form or fashion in their own way. Um, 
if they weren't just like friggin shoved to the side and railroaded and it wasn't so difficult and maybe like maybe that's the ticket maybe it's a good thing that it is so difficult to to create a career out of youtube right um because if it was easy everybody would do it and there would be even more garbage and trash on youtube um but i don't know man Okay, I totally dodged that. I don't know, I've seen a lot of like small content creators um like attempt to start something. And, and want to create a career out of content creation of some form um and they have the means they have the creativity they have the drive um but like youtube is just like nah dude what we what we care about is all this other stuff right what, what we want is the big money makers and like we don't care how good you are at what you do we don't care like what your your thoughts or feelings are we don't care that people like your stuff what we care about is like what's right now and what's right now is that mr beast is making us millions and millions of dollars right so i'm going to show everybody mr beast's videos and you could go screw yourself think not of the kindling i shall see to that all i ask of you is to make the journey to the snowy mountain tops of the giants far above the clouds lady i know I this know. I'm asking you to commit a card that it must be done to run that. What is you? We've had this conversation like three times. I know that the lore in this game is difficult to, to follow, but like, bro, I get it. I know where to go right now. You don't have to tell me that many times. Hi. Hi. Coming for you. Yeah, you've been giving me problems. You've been shooting at me for a long time. I didn't expect fire. Oh gosh. We're okay. shield dude This guy's going down. Yeah, you got nothing on me now, son. Uh-huh. Your bow's not doing you squat up close, son. All right, one more final point. <laughs> one more final point before I just shut up and move forward. Because um, I could sit here and talk about this all day. Um, but from, for anybody out there that would be interested in content creation of any kind, um, whether it's for YouTube or any other platform, um, I would compare the journey to start your career in that sense to, uh, um, to an internship, right? 
YouTube does not pay you a dollar. They don't pay you a penny until you become quite successful as a creator. Um, and by the time you become quite successful, like, yeah, you start making money, right? Um, the issue with that is that, like, depending on the path that you want to take, you might look at, like, a two-year internship. And YouTube probably loves that, right? They probably want that all day, every day, from everybody. Because they don't have to pay all these people that are working for them and creating stuff that is going on the platform and people are consuming and enjoying and they're making money from it. And they don't have to pay anybody, right? Um, which is kind of disgusting. It, it, it's like... It, an internship in real life, where depending on whatever job you get, like, typically an internship is a couple of months, a month, right? Um, but YouTube, the way their internship works is like, we'll get back to you in like two years or something like that. And, uh, we'll see. L right. Like there's, there's no nothing, no guarantee, no, like, uh, and it's, it's, it's so, it's so frustrating. <laughs> I just like, I wish it was better for both consumers and creators, dude. I wish I could fight all three of these guys at the same time. Knight of the Great Jar. Can I? Can I fight all of them? No. I got uh, one at a time. Uh, what was it about fighting all three at the same time? I thought I was cool, dude. The, yeah, dude. The, well, okay. So, YouTube's not like Hollywood, right? They're not making, like... You don't expect people f that, that are creating content on YouTube to make, like, vi movies. You know? You, we're not talking about people that went to, to school for film production. You know, we're talking about people that have passion, that care about something, that want to do things, uh, and want to, like, make a career out of, like, doing what it is that they love, right? Regardless of what it is. Because you can make videos of anything. It doesn't matter. Um, and, yeah, everybody's got the potential to develop a career from that same standpoint. Um, okay. So yeah, a lot of the stuff that is out there from a like that are people that people are creating is gonna be pretty poor quality, right? Because there's no education around it. It's just like amateur content creation, right? Um, and it takes a long time to develop uh, and harden the muscles and skills required for that type of thing, right? Um, and that's why you see such strong success. And those that are, uh, like, long-time devotees to content creation. Um, like, it doesn't make sense that somebody that's li that's been doing it for, doing whatever it is, for, like, six months, like, makes a, a billion dollars a year or whatever. Um, people that have been making YouTube videos for, like, a decade, for ten years, you find them being much more successful because they've honed their skills as a creator, right? Um, but that doesn't seem to always be the case, right? It, it's like the scales of justice are being tipped by the algorithm that YouTube offers, if that makes any sense, right? So, like, you could be making phenomenal content even for a decade, and, like, YouTube's like, nah, dude, like, what we care about is, like, this stuff over here that's like way more popular in these videos. And what's popular nowadays is like TikTok. You're gonna try to shoot a bow at me?
Somebody get it there, man. <laughs> he tried to shoot a bow at me. Come on. Bring it on in. Let's go. <laughs> who is this? Is this Sekiro's father? I think that's who this is. Spoilers. I can't wait to play Sekiro. That's gonna be so fun. He stabbed himself. Why? <laughs> he stabbed himself in the middle of the fight when he was low health. Like, I know that that's an ability that you can, like... <laughs> you can buff your yourself by doing that. But, like... Any other time would have been fine. <laughs> and any time ever would have been better than right then to stab yourself. We're doing it. Let's go fight somebody. My game crashed. Bro. Elden Ring, I was trying to have fun with your PvP that you just implemented. Poo, dude. It's so bright. Ah. I think that counts as a death, man. Come on, Bandai. Freaking idiots. That's the first no. I think I think that's the first time I've ever crashed on Elden Ring. That's fair. That's pretty fair. Well, should we try it again? Just yeah, I know. When I was getting strong, dude, I was feeling good about myself. I was like, let's do this. Yeah, let's allow Spirit Ashes and let's beat somebody that uses Spirit Ash. Watch us crash again. I'll be kind of sad. I'm not even going to move. I'm going to stay right here. What, is nobody playing this game? Simon, come on. Get on. Let's go. Fight me. Fight me with your magic, you big baby. Bro, does nobody play this game? <laughs> I can't leave. I can't just quit the matchmaking. Boring. I guess everybody else thinks that's boring too. Alright, we're gonna go visit this guy real quick because... 
Simon versus Beaver. I don't think it's crossplay, is it? Because Simon plays on PlayStation, I believe. And I don't know if that's how it works. That's another thing that I could complain about all day, dude. Why the heck are games not crossplay? Simon's scared. <laughs> I have a death root that I could give this guy. I'm I kind of am stalling before I go up north. I'm trying to wrap up some loose ends before we go up north. I want for my Thanks, dog. Let's go fight the fire giant, dude. Come on. What am I wasting my time for? Actually, one last thing. Let's hop on over here and see if anybody came back for any reason. I don't think they did, but it can't hurt to, to check. Nope, my chair. All right. I don't think there's anybody else that uh, I really could do with talking to. I think everybody is either dead or done. They don't play this game anymore. Maybe Sorceress Selen, but I have no idea how to start her quest line. She's just been in that dungeon forever and ever. But I, I think this is it. This is our next move. I think there's a few things in, in uh, Liarnia that we've missed as well. Um, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. All right. Now, nah, just to leave you guys on a cliffhanger, um, we are going to keep playing for just a bit today, but I'm going to go use the restroom. I'm going to fill my drink up so I can go pee some more. Um, and then we'll, we'll do this. I can't remember exactly where the fire giant is, but I don't really want to rush to it. So whether or not we get to the fire giant today is kind of up in the air, but I'll be right back. Uno momento.
All right. Sorry about that. Wait. So wait, the reason you're saying the reason why crossplay is not everywhere is because some people will cry. Like he uses controller, he uses PC, he has an advantage. For, uh, you can see more stuff on screen. And you know what you do? You know what you do about that? You know what you do that about people that that say and, and do things like that? You ignore them. Uh, it's that easy, dude. What else would you do? Like, bro, if... It, it's like that dude... You went on a pee break and came back at the same time? <laughs> Well played, dude. <laughs> we should all do that together, dude. Next time, let's plan it out. All right, we can all hold hands virtually. All right. <laughs> okay. Dude, it's the same thing about things like that. The solution to things like that is the same solution I, I have for the, the videos that I was watching on Helldiver to study like what is popular nowadays that I was like these guys are making trash content I do not like watching it I'm just gonna not watch it <laughs> you know I'm not gonna just like continue to read like he's complaining this he's doing that he's doing this it's like dude if you don't want crossplay turn it off don't play the game dude just don't feed the troll oh gosh you mean the dragon don't feed the dragon is that's what you're saying. Up! I need your weapon. He dropped the saw, dude! Ah. Uh. <laughs> Okay. There's a little taste of what's to come. I'm not even up the lift yet. I didn't even take the lift to the next area. We're just getting a taste. Oh, oh, for crossplay. I thought you meant the troll as in, like, in the game. Don't feed the troll. <laughs> yeah, dude, exactly. Don't, don't feed it. Don't feed that crap. I don't think people even mean to. Like, I, when, I, when I went on my rant about, like, YouTube and the algorithm and creation and all this, I, I didn't mean to, like, just sit here and complain about it. Like, I, you get, like, people that, that feed the troll, people that, like, complain about, you know, crossplay this, controller this, PC that, it's not fair, this and that. Like... I don't think that it's, like, an, an intentional, like, spew of crap, right? Um, how do I explain it? It's like, I don't think people realize that they may be providing a, uh, a higher level of negative crap into the world that is just unnecessary, right? Um, like, for example, the my spiel, my, my rant today was done in good faith. It was done because I care and because I want to see the, the, like, the platform become a better place for everybody, right? Um, and when it comes to people that are complaining about like crossplay saying like it's unfair this, it's unfair that, um, it's likely because they believe that, right? It, they believe that it's not fair and that it's crossplay in that sense would be contributing to the consumption of the product. And by that, I mean the video game in a negative manner. Um, so, like, one solution would just be to, like, have, make a button. Like, make an on-off button, right? If you don't want crossplay, turn it off. If you do, then there you go. Um, like, I want to be able to play every game with Bryson. Bryson plays on PlayStation. Um, I've been playing video games with him for years and years. Like, nearly a decade, right? And we can't play most games together now because I have a PC and he does not. Um, 
it's a difficult thing to say, like, oh, well, I could just go play PlayStation, right? But, like, uh, it's more than just that, right? It's, uh, like, I want to make a career out of this or one day. Like, I enjoy this. There's more to it than just playing on PlayStation now, from, from my perspective. So, like, um, and I don't want him to have to get a PC. That's ridiculous, because he has no intention of following the same road that I want to follow. So, like, why the heck can't we play games together, dog? But then you've got, every now and then you come across a company that like, um, like the people that made Helldivers, it's crossplay, no issues, no issues whatsoever. Um, it, it, well, it's not for Xbox, but that's a contractual thing. Um, there's more like contractual obligations in the, the vice there, right? It's more than just, uh, like, hey, crossplay this, crossplay that. It's like, nah, like it could be for both. How did I not die, dude? These guys hit like freaking freight trains. They do so much damage. I don't know, it, Simon, to, to make a testament to what you said earlier, like you, you said that like there's for every person there's going to be like a hater there's going to be a troll like yeah absolutely no matter what like the world is like there will always be people that balance it with complaints <laughs> and like um if if cross play became more like universal and there people were constantly able to do cross play for all sorts of games um there would like regardless of how incredible it is how positive it may be what kind of an impact it makes, there will always be people that complain about it for some reason or another. Um, and that goes for everything in life, right? Doesn't matter what you're doing, it doesn't, doesn't have to be crossplay, doesn't have to be video games, it could be anything. Um, like, before self-driving cars were a thing, um, people complained about how bad people were at driving, right? So then we made self-driving cars, and now people complain about self-driving cars. It's like, it's just, that's the way, that's nature, right there. That's just the way we are. And people, uh, people complain about things. And there's nobody that's an exception, <laughs> right? Um, everybody complains about something. Damn, son, that was a good hit. That one felt good right there. I, I think that um, complaining in any sense, as long as it's done like respectfully, um, and not at the uh, the deficit of others. It's good. It's healthy. It's a form of expression. It's a way to get things out, right? Um, like, although not everybody wants to hear it, <laughs> it's it's not necessarily a bad thing. It can be, um, but it, it has the potential to be positive or neutral, right? Just like everything else, there's always going to be a balance to it. And I will say, man, like, when it comes to the growth of my channel, um, that is, like, probably my greatest appreciation is the type of people that, that gra tend to gravitate towards my channel. You guys are awesome, dude. Like, you guys have no idea, um, how grateful and appreciative I am for, like, just you guys being you. Like, when I, uh, when I watch, like, other people stream, when I uh, watch other people make videos, like their comment sections, their chats are filled with pain, like misery, dude. Like, I, I know, like, every now and then we get into banter, right? Like, we banter. We, we make, we, we talk smack against one another, right? Like, every now and then, like Simon and, and Hex and Bryson and Zach, and like, there's so many people that will talk smack and I'll talk smack back, right? But it's not done in a negative manner. It's done with, like, love and care because it's, it, it's fun. 
Stop. No, I, I mean it though. Like, is is not a joke, dude. Like, the amount of love and support and appreciation that you guys give me is like tenfold what 99% of other people get. Like, everywhere you look, every big content creator, dude, they're just like their 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 comment sections, their chats, everything is riddled with hate and like disgust and, and like that doesn't mean that there's no positivity but dude it sure is watered down when you look at my chat when you look at my comment section like every now and then there's some banter done with fun right out of just like love and care right it's, it's not meant to hurt somebody's feelings that dude i've had like lifetime li lifetime creation um i've had like two people say something negative and both times, those people have come back and, like, apologized and been like, dude, I didn't mean it. Like, I'm sorry. This and that and that and this. And, like, we're, all, we're able to talk it out and, like, uh, like form a, a level of respect and appreciation for one another. Like, dude, I have never, ever seen that. And maybe I'm just, like, not looking hard enough, but I've never seen that for any other content creator, man. So, like... I, I'm beyond grateful like words can't even describe how much I appreciate you guys for just being good people um, it, it makes me so freaking happy All right now that's enough you guys shut up You guys, that, That's enough love for you guys for one day, okay? Let, let's get back to business Simon shut up <laughs> no! I knew it. <laughs> I knew he was gonna beat my cheeks, dude. Uh, there is a huge difference in the difficulty of the areas that we are in. <laughs> they do so much more damage. You know, part of the issue I think is that I'm not leveling up my health bar. <laughs> look, yeah, look, I can only handle so much Gucci Goo stuff in a day, okay? Let's get serious. <laughs> no love, don't hurt me, no more. Choke so bad. I don't think I need the grace. I think I can, uh, I can work with this statue of Marka. Stake of Marika. Like, dude, <clears throat> just to put the cherry on top, like, I, I, I've noticed that a majority of the much larger content creators. Um, especially when they do live streams is that they like they have like members only for their their chats for all this other stuff because like if they don't it's just riddled with them like, just, like, suck oh okay I thought he was gonna go up in the air
Yeah, baby. All right. I don't need no dang checkpoint. <laughs> that was a good fight. Those guys are tough. Freezing grease. That's new. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Oh, dude, I, I forgot. I totally lied to you guys. I made him sit down. Yeah, right. Sit down. Um, I, I, I did lie to you guys before. Um, there was one group of people that came in my chat and never apologized. <laughs> <laughs> I think Simon was there for it. It was a mess, dude. We were playing Vault Hunters, and some... It was definitely a group of people. They they started spamming, like, vulgarity and, uh, like, inappropriate words in the chat, and they, like, botted. There was, like... You would, you would block one person, and five more would show up, and it was just, like, I don't know, a half hour of just, like, unpleasant words being just like spammed in the chat and like I had like three mods in here and myself all just like we had to stop doing what we were doing just like insta ban every single one of them constantly that were coming through it's like it was rough <laughs> looking back it's kind of funny but like wrong dog like the things that they were putting in the chat was just like unacceptable um so there you go Yeah, you were there, Simon. Yeah, yeah, you remember. One dude was, like, asking me to rough up my beard. He was like, make your beard all messy for me, daddy. I was like... <laughs> How about you go away? <laughs> They're probably Elden Trolls. Well, it, we were playing Minecraft. Um, which is... Even more of a no-no. Because, like... Okay, when we're playing something like Elden Ring, my assumption, right, uh, it's not a guarantee, it's a, it, it, obviously there's walks of all life and age, right, that play every game. There's, there's young kids that play GTA, right? I assume that when I'm playing Elden Ring and I'm streaming, a majority of the audience, if not all of it, is going to be a little bit older and a little bit more mature, right? Uh, because it is that style of game, right? It, you're not, you're not going to get seven-year-olds playing Elden Ring, typically. Um, but when I play Minecraft and I stream that, I, every single day, I immediately assume, even if it's there's no evidence or, or anything, that there will be young people watching, right? Um, so when I have somebody come into the chat and they're, like, screaming vulgarity and inappropriate words, I'm like, okay, this is double unacceptable, uh, unacceptable, dude, because you're not only, like, screwing things up for yourself and screwing things up for myself and the people that are watching, but you're also being an incredibly negative influence on some of these younger people that have the potential to be watching that kind of stuff, right? Um, so, I don't know, like, look, dude, I'm all about, like, freedom of speech. I'm all about, like, do whatever you want to do. Like, do you... Just don't hurt other people, right? Don't hear me. Uh, it, I know that it, it was. He was trying to get a reaction out of me. That's what he was trying to do. Um, but uh, when it, like, look, man, do whatever you want to do to yourself. I don't care. Don't hurt other people, and do not mess with like the kids, dude. Like, the, kids are the future of the world, right? Most certainly not. This lady just won't shut up, dude. <laughs> like, I think that a lot of people have very little respect for one it, for children, right? Um, typically, all, across all cultures, um, you find that there's a certain level of uh, at least expected respect for elders, right? You always hear that. Respect your elders. Respect your elders. As you should. Um, you should respect everybody. But most importantly, respect the kids, man. Right? Because if the kids grow up filled with, like, trash and disrespect and hate and misery and all this garbage that, like, they are going to absorb that and grow up to be that. Right? The kids are the future. When we're gone, the kids take over. 
they're the only thing that's left, right? And if you want the world to be a better place, you make the kids better too. And the last thing you want to do is like be a, a bad influence for the youngins, man, because they're the most important thing in the world. Um, and I think that that is looked over in a lot of cultures, uh, especially nowadays, and particularly with uh, younger generations. Like, you know, people that have the most influence on young kids are young adults. Um, like, people that are not quite, like, grown yet, people that are not quite, like, you know, they're not 30. They don't have a mortgage. Like, the, the people that are in high school uh, or, like, just getting out of high school, those typically have the biggest impact on young kids. And those tend to be the people that have the least amount of respect for young kids, which is really sad, man. Um, it's almost like a lose-lose situation, and, and you hate to see it. Um, but, like, I, I do. I, I try to take that quite seriously when it comes to, like, the uh, like the Minecraft chats because I know there's going to be young kids watching, right? Other games I'm... I'm a little bit more lenient with, right? Um, I don't know. We're here. We made it. <laughs> but Simon has a, a bit more of a direct response to what you just said, dude. <laughs> I think some people are just broken, buddy. Some people, uh... <laughs> yes. <laughs> he did say that, dude. <laughs> um... There, there's some, like, every now and then, somebody's just... Like, dude, we're all messed up, right? Everybody's messed up on a certain level. It's acceptable. It's reasonable. It makes sense. Like, the world's messed up. Of course, everybody's gonna be a little bit broken and backwards. But every now and then, somebody's busted, dude. Like, there's something wrong with their head, and they it just doesn't work right. And then they say things like that. <laughs> like, I, like, don't get me wrong, it's kind of funny. But not cool in a Minecraft chat, dude. Come on. <laughs> like, take it somewhere else, dog. Did I not? Oh, I got a fire blossom. Oh, I'm reading some dude's chat. He's bamboozling. Mountain tops of the giants. What, are we playing friggin' Kratos here? What's going on? That is most definitely the east. West? Wait, sorry, I guess the camera's backwards. West? East. I'm just kidding. I think that that's the east. Somebody's just standing there. Who is that? Oh, Samurai dude. I remember him. I should probably start leveling up my health a little bit. Finally, we meet the tarnished. Who would be Lord? Oh my. Why the long face? I fear that you were previously acquainted with this vessel. Well, that is most unfortunate. For he is dead. What? As for his flesh, he gave it to me. Shabriri, I hope you can make your peace with that. Bro, what? I didn't... I thought he died too, because we actually have his armor, I think. Wait. No, we don't. I could have sworn I found this dude dead. Yeah, it... I mean, Simon, I agree. I get it as a joke, right? Um, 
it, yes, it, I believe it was intended as a joke. About to sacrifice How I, I just I can't comprehend a world where it wasn't a joke and it was serious, because that just like that doesn't compute in my brain. Um, so that you may be loved. But jokes like that are uh, not quite so appropriate when there's young people potentially watching, right? Sacrifice. Whether she wishes it or not, but how would the Lord crown so? The immortal. Chosen to spare if you are prepared to show resolve and attain lordship through righteous hardship, then heed the words of I Shabriri. He's the new hunter? Chosen tarnished descendants Gordian. If you inherit the flame of frenzy, your flesh will serve as kindling and the girl can be setting you on the righteous path of lordship. Okay. The path of the lord of chaos. Wait a second. Burn the earth tree to the ground and incinerate all that divides and distinguishes. Ah, uh, may chaos take the may chaos. Okay. <clears throat> Wait. Big brain plays here. So if we absorb the frenzy flame, uh, we could potentially spare, uh, what's her face, our our lady friend, um, because she's supposed to sacrifice herself as the kindling to ignite the Erd tree and allow us to become the Elden Lord, right? Because that the the thorns are in the way and they need to be burnt. Something needs to burn them. She's gonna sacrifice herself. If we use ourself as the frenzied flame to burn the earth tree down, we can spare her. The problem with the, the frenzied flame is that it unleashes chaos and misery and pain across the world. But if we find Mikola's needle, we can subdue the frenzied flame after using it to do what it does. Yeah, dude, Simon, that's the problem, right? Like, um... That stuff does evolve, and, and it can be taken inappropriately, right? Um, not everybody's going to have the same perspective as like, oh, that's funny, he's just messing around, he's joking, right? Um, like, when it comes to, like, the, the potential to influence younger people, you, you don't, it, like, just because you're joking doesn't mean they can comprehend it that way or, or would see it that way. And even if they do... It's not necessarily the best uh, set example, right? As a, an adult or as an, uh, a person of an influential standpoint uh, when it comes to younger people. Um, yeah, there's no reason to be, to be making jokes like that. <clears throat> like, uh, okay. The way I would see it, like, the way I, I might, like, put an example out there is, like, okay, you can joke in any way you want. You you can make a joke about anything, right? It, you, you, as an individual, have the perspective to make a, anything a, a joke, at least in your eyes, right? And that's great, uh, of course. Like, like laughter and comedy is healthy. It's good for you. It's a, it's a positive thing. Um, but... If you were to get up on stage in a comedy club and say that joke that that person said, is the crowd going to be like, oh, wow, that's so funny? Or are they going to be like, what's this guy talk? What, like, what's wrong with that dude? That was one of those moments. <laughs> that man stood up on stage and everybody was like, I don't like that guy. <laughs> Banned. Sorry. <laughs> There is something I'd like to say. My purpose was given to me by my mother, but now I act of my own volition. I have set my heart upon the world that I would have, regardless of my mother's designs. I won't allow anyone to speak ill of that, not even you. Interesting. All right. <clears throat> Um, if we're following the lore, from my understanding, uh, she's been born from the Erd Tree. Her mother is the Erd Tree, right? 
Um, so the symbolism in play here is is something, right? Because she's potentially willing to sacrifice herself to burn the Erd tree down. Dude, this game is so good. <laughs> I just like every. It's like that scene from the Joker. Wait, which which scene from the Joker? Um, because I I'm not caught up with all those movies. I've seen like the older ones, but not the newer ones. Zamoa ruins. Hi! Holy crap! How'd he miss? Sable spoilers? Okay, fair enough. I can't argue with that. <clears throat> I can respect that. I like, uh... I mean, dude... <laughs> Alright, you wanna... <laughs> yeah, I I'm about to put Simon on the spot right now. Um, in a positive way. Dude, I've never met anybody that's able to hold spoilers back as much as Simon has. Dude, he's been playing the crap out of god of war ragnarok and like simon knows well enough that like i don't want spoilers because like i'm i'm extremely passionate about the god of war series i really really can't wait to play it if you could tell by how much i talk about it um and uh that man's gone and gotten like platinum trophy he knows everything and not once not once has he ever spoken a word about it like <laughs> that's freaking respect dude uh Zach too. Zach is really good about spoilers. Bryson, on the other hand, man, you gotta freaking you gotta tie him down. You gotta tape his mouth shut, or else he'll tell you everything, dude. <laughs> Where's Bryson at? Somebody, <laughs> somebody, get him in here. I gotta talk some smack. More of a Heath Ledger Joker guy. All right, all right. I do like Heath Ledger, man. He did a very good job. Um, wait, did you guys see the new one? Oh, wait, are you referencing the one with... What's the guy? Um, who's the, the, the red-headed kid from... Um, from Shameless? He also plays the main character from the Star Wars games. Um, I can't... I'm not sure what his actual name is. There's three of these guys? I hit all three of them? I'm in trouble. Dang it, dude. That's a tough fight. Oh man, I, I can never remember actors' names. That that redheaded kid, I think he pulled the role of the Joker for like the most recent ones. Um, and don't get me wrong, I think he's a phenomenal actor. Um, I really like a majority of the work he does. I I love him as like a Jedi dude. He's a phenomenal Jedi. I, like those are some of my favorite games I've ever played, which is crazy. Um, they're so good, and he does a great job, but I never saw the movie of him being the Joker, but I've seen, like, clips of him being the Joker, and I was like, I don't like it. I, I just, look, all due respect, not for him. That's a bad role for him to be cast as. I think he brings good energy. I think he, uh... 
I think he's got potential, but I, I don't believe that that's the right role for him to play. It's getting serious. Th this used to be a boss. At the beginning of the game, this guy is a physical boss. He's got his own arena. And now we're fighting three of them at once. Sucking. All right, <clears throat> let's get it together. Let's log it in. You got to take these guys seriously. Simon, I, I like what you said there. I appreciate that. Have I told you guys how excited I am to play God of War? Alright, Hagrid, come on now. I went from like one tap and bosses to just dying over and over and over again. Edwig? Gosh, and I, I say I like Harry Potter. I'm so sorry. I don't I I knew Hagrid sounded wrong. I don't know why I said it. Oh, I'm embarrassed now. Bruh. Why can't I hit them? It's like... I can't even see what's happening! It's getting old. Oh, 
freaking screw you, dude. My goodness. All right, we are going to clear this area. There will not be a single enemy left, and we will do it before we go anywhere else. Oh, am I not dying? Ah! I'm stuck. Cleared out the warriors. All right, well played. There's so many of them. Where do they keep coming from? They're not possible. How? How am I supposed to hit you? We're not done. Am I? Nah, we're not done. Two more.
I got two potion refills. I think that might have been it. Holy crap, dude. I had no idea there would be that many. I didn't know there would be like freaking thir There's more. There's more. Do they just keep spawning? Where were they all hiding? <laughs> I, I think they're done. My goodness. It's not even like a boss. It's just like some broken down ruins. I wish that, like, on the map, um, when you actually physically cleared the entire area, even though enemies spawn back when you rest and things like that and you leave and come back, I, I wish that, uh, it would symbolize somehow that, like, hey, you have cleared this area, you've collected all the items, you've killed all the enemies, right? I know that's kind of, like, not the theme of this game, that's really not how they do things, uh, but it would be kind of nice to just, like, know for sure, like, hey, I killed everything. Like, it's something that's really gratifying about, like, looking at the map when you're done. You're like, I, I, I got them all, baby. All of them. I didn't check the other half of this. Hello? Is there anybody else home? I think it might be safe to say we cleared this bad boy. That was tough, dude. Alright, relax. Would you stop moving? Cave is up. Okay, all right, I guess we're going up. Friggin' idiot. Those guys are like obnoxiously difficult to, to hit. The other birds are not that bad. Somehow they're worse. They don't even have like armor. They don't have weapons. They're just birds. Um, but you can one shot them, which is kind of nice. Imagine you had to hit them like three times. What is this, a fake wall? 
Yeah. What are they staying warm out here? Oh, I see a big boy. Is that a shotgun? This is a fascinating weapon. Can you please drop that? I don't want your freaking boobs, dude. I want your weapon. Why would I want to walk around with... <sighs> I've never been so disappointed in my life, dude. So now I get to be Big Chungus instead of using like some sick friggin' Briar Whip. Great. Watch a dragon just like swoop me off the edge and be like, see ya. Oh, don't do I see you. And now I hear you. How about you don't, buddy? <laughs> I got baited. <laughs> I got baited by... <laughs> I got baited so hard by those items. They, dude, it, sh it cornholed me. They, like, I went down there for the items and there was nowhere to go. It was, like, perfectly timed. Well done, game. Is that the... Ooh, okay, hold on. We'll come back for that. Oh, dude, good shout, Dream. Thank you. Hold on, I just want to grab my, my runes and then I'll head back for it. And maybe kill this friggin' prick that shot me. crap. Let's just kill him. I was kind of expecting to see a checkpoint somewhere around here, too. OK, 
guy. Well, there's so many bodies around here. Where's the stinking grace at, man? Come on, game. Ah, uh, uh huh. Kind of surprised there's not a merchant here, too. Should we clear this out again? It might have been faster to just like walk back the way I came. I'm not sure. I bet you that guy does drop a weapon. He just has like a percent chance to do it because he does spawn back. Oh man, I want that weapon. The whips are so cool. I just feel like they're not very effective. I don't know. The beast eye quivers. Oh, all right. There's a death route nearby. I'm, I never noticed that. All right. I don't know if you guys would believe this. You'd probably be like, there's no way. You're lying. I have to pee again. <laughs> Excuse me? I have to pee so bad. I'll be right back. Let's do it, man. Let's get on in this. Sorry, my headset's crooked. Hey, we're getting very close um, to the fire giant, but I don't want to like rush it. I think we'll probably we could benefit from some more levels. And what better place to get them than on the away to the fire giant, right?
Uh huh. Oh, you pricks. They ganged up on me, man. One of these days, there's gonna be like a fake wall, like halfway down. Oh. There's gonna be like a fake wall like halfway down or something and you'd have to roll into it or something while you were uh, descending Okay, there's definitely stuff down there. Oh wait Huh I've been begging for this to happen this specifically this right here I've been asking for this for a long time. Let's go this way first. Hi! <laughs> Just freaking yeet his face, man. Get him out of here. Hi! <laughs> people raise that that's that drives me nuts I hear I hear footsteps it must be above I didn't even see it Classic. That's what this is. Classic ginormous blades. I'm getting, uh, bodied. He just hit me, dude. He was so far away, dog. All right, let's get serious.
it no matter what. Come on, baby, give me my loot. Sorry, Jars. You must die. Hi. You, you gonna show up? You gonna like... He'll figure it out. Give him some time. I don't think he knows I'm here. Ah! <laughs> I freaking knew it. Yeah, baby, I was ready. I could have sworn he was beating me, dude. I was so ready for more enemies to jump around the corner. Whoa, excuse me. That was a good one. Hi. Sorry about your buddies, buddy. Hmm, how did I miss that trap? Oh, I was in the middle of this room. Sneaky, sneaky. That's crazy, dude. Okay, wait a second. Where am I now? Because I, I haven't been in this room before. It looks similar to the other room. But this is definitely different. It is. It, it's not the same one. Sorry, Jar. Don't mind me. Oh, see you, buddy. All right, I'll come with you. Oh, 
where are these guys coming from, man? Okay, so now we're back in the same room again. Are we, though? Are we, though? Uh... Yes. Yes, we are. I, he really was, dude. I, I was taking my sweet time clapping him. And, uh... <laughs> I was just thinking, like, man, these guys are so slow. You know, I, I, I always get my combo off every single time. Don't have to worry about getting hit by those guys. <laughs> I just, like, miss one attack. He starts swinging. Oh, God. Good thing I can spam the tags, dude. Holy crap. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, man. There's that death root. I'll take it. All right, now I'm going to like walk back out the, the long way and try to get that like elevator that goes way way down because I think there could be a secret boss there but I'm not sure we'll see if there is I have no FP to handle it so <laughs> here we go man that sounds delicious oh That works. That's a lot of damage. Holy crap, that's a lot of damage. Amount of potions. Okay. I didn't step on anything. I I was like, trap ahead. I see it. I read it. I heard it. I see the trap. I was like, surely it's not just going to magically know I'm here. And I was wrong. It, it knew. Ooh. Oh, okay. I see where I'm at. Uh-huh. More tricks of the trade? Nope. Look at that guy sneaking. Oh, you're back. Okay. Alright. 
I guess it's getting serious. That pillar's about to win again, dude. I, it one-shot me. That pillar... I mean, I guess I was low on health. So, fair. But, like, come on now. Ugh. That cat's weird. Watchdog one. Beaver one. I killed the, the watchdog one. Watchdog 1, Beaver 2. Okay. All right. Still cold. You son of a gun. I missed. Hold on. Okay, please stay down. Ah, I was ready. Gosh. Another watchdog. Watch this. to go once he gets over here and is not dead yet. Oh, man. Wait, why is the... That thing's not shooting anymore, man. Hold on. Zach's calling me. What's up, boy? Oh, I'm just freaking shredding right now, dude. Sir, yes, sir. Is that okay? Tiny mouth. I think your ears are clogged in, man, because I've been. I think that you're going deaf because nothing's changed between like the way I, I talked to you on the phone for, for him. What? No, what? You're li okay. <laughs> and now you're gonna yell at me for, for yelling. You're gonna be like, why don't you just stop screaming at me? <laughs> oh, I wish you'd quit crying. I'm playing Elden Ring. Yeah. Uh, I've been going for eight hours and 40 minutes and I've only died 34 times today. What I died? What? The first day I played, I died 121 times. Zach, you realize that a 34 is like less than—it's like a quarter 
of the amount of times I was dying before. I'm getting... This guy. This freaking guy. What do you think, I'm bad? Boy, I wanna fight you yeah, with all these hands, boy! I'll, so I'll catch you in the duel arena! But I don't think you understand how quickly I'd beat your freaking cheeks into the ground. I'll beat your cheeks into the ground, okay? I'm just saying I would win. God, I'm gonna... I hate you. <laughs> I have, I have like, almost over half of the achievements in the whole game. I disagree. I'm gonna give you a shut the friggin' heck up trophy. No. <laughs> uh. Oh, did it? I'm not 100%, but I was, I was thinking that it was supposed to be longer than Thursday. I'll tell you what. Last update I had was Tuesday 1.102. You don't have one uh, ready? No, I'm looking at it right now. It could have been. I, uh. Uh, well, yeah, but mine didn't do that. Yeah, that's true. Well, uh, knock on wood, dude. My the one I'm using now is clean as a whistle, so I'm not even having issues with the Windows audio. Yeah, you remember how like Windows would just adjust my audio whenever it felt like it for fun. I, yeah, I know, I know. I haven't had that happen one time since I've been using this PC, so I, I think it was a PC thing. Yeah, that would be nice. Oh, dude, what a G dog. You gonna come right onto the game, or are you gonna freaking putz around and be a big baby about... Life outside video games. <laughs> you don't love it enough. <laughs> you don't love it enough. I, I think you're making it awkward. I mean, training's always a bit odd, right? Everybody's out of their comfort zone, typically. Kind of under the impression that they were going to train him with the production manager. 
Yeah, we talked about this before, and then they were like, nah. I think I see what you're saying. Uh, I would say that, like, don't let that kind of stuff get in your head. Like, keep doing you, right? Because, like, that's the reason why you're in the position you're in now to begin with. It's because you do you very well, right? And that's what they want. They don't, like, so I, the way I, I might see that is even if it's not, like, purposeful, or even if it's, like, um, it, whatever it is, it's just some goofery. Um, as a person of your position, um, it's best to stand firm, right? And and stay confident in yourself, right? Because if something as simple as that is gonna shake you, then that is that could potentially um, like play as an example as to how you might handle the position that you could potentially be offered in the future, right? Like you don't want as somebody that would be in that supervisor position or, or manager position um, is not going to be you know, if, they, if they're looking for the best of the best, they're not going to be looking for somebody that's, like, going to be shook at something that's, like, as simple as that, right? So, like, regardless of what the truth is, regardless of what anybody says, do you, dude, because you do it very well, and that's what they want to see. Um... Well, okay, so let me let me riddle you this, Batman. Um, okay, I mean, you want to just call me back, or all right, just remind me of where we left off, Batman. Batman. 
All right, Batman. He hung up on me. <laughs> oh, man. I'm not a fan of the bats, but I'd rather fight these guys than the the eagles. The Girls. Uh oh. Batman, no. I think these guys just die when they're done. Yeah. Just kidding. I don't think I've ever actually killed any of these guys. No wonder I've never killed one of these guys. I'm trying not to lose my train of thought that I was having a conversation with Zach. That was it? He didn't even drop runes. That's kind of sad. Serious. Why? Okay, so what I was saying was, uh, sorry, I'm in a pickle here. In the wings. Um, it really is. <laughs> so, all right, time out. Uh, what I was thinking was like, if you're unsure about something. If you're, like, either uncomfortable or, um, uh, offset for any reason whatsoever, um, not only is it important to stay confident and firm in yourself, right? Don't lose faith in you, uh, because, like, that's the last thing you want from somebody that's going to be in the position that you could potentially be taking over, right? Um, but it is also, I find this to be the case for everything in life regardless of your situation but it is incredibly important and valuable to be able to talk to somebody and express yourself honestly and openly in a way that is going to be like beneficial not just to you but to everybody around you right um and if if you are unsure about something if you are like you know maybe confused or uh like offset for whatever reason if there's something you have questions about or something you don't understand um it would be important and valuable for somebody that would be in the position that you could take over to stand aside, sit down like like all the other crap that, uh, you know, uh, look past like ego at that point and say like, look, I'm okay to say that like, I don't know what's going on. 
I'm okay to say like I'm confused too or, or I don't understand something and and just chat about it with somebody that you are uh, like comfortable talking with right or somebody that is in the position to help you um, whether that's like uh, a co-worker or um, or some somebody that's like in the same kind of like boat as you are right like whoever who's training you like can you talk to them about it and be like hey man like what's going on here and there um that's gonna like Yeah. Yeah, of course. Well, okay, so I see what you're saying. And, um, I, I, man, I, 
I think that the best thing that I could say in regards to that is that, like, and, and I know I, don't, I probably don't even have to tell you this, but, like, that's just life, right? Like, that's part of life is, like, being unknowing and, and like, the, the mysteries and, like, what's going to happen tomorrow, right? Um, and um, I think that what matters is how you cope with that and how you handle yourself in moments of uh, uncertainty, right? And, and that's going to speak a lot as like somebody from a potential manager position, right? Um, and I think that, I mean, you know this better than anybody. It's like um, being a manager is not just about filing the paperwork and, and doing whatever it is that you do on the job. The training is uh, one thing, right? Of course, the training is going to be very important, but there's something that they'll, they'll never be able to train you at that you have, you like, you were very, very good as a social um, person, right? Because uh, being a manager is, is 50% like work, 50% like being a, a social person, right? Like there's there's a lot more that goes into it. Like you got to read situations. You got to be able to like work with people on a, a personal level. And uh, I think that you like are able to do that very well. Um, and that's not to say that like there's never going to be times of like question and, and and trials, right? Like you're gonna find difficulties in every single aspect of being in, in that position, or even if you don't take that position, like outside of that as well. Um, but I think that that's probably something that they'll be looking for is like, how do you handle yourself in these times? Of right? And I think that it's like, it's important to like, to, to handle yourself well, right? Um, but also, it's it's okay to like know what's going on. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, it's natural to be like nervous, right? Um. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you wouldn't be talking about it. Right? Um, and dude, like... Oh my gosh, sorry. Um, I, I think that, um, the only thing in between you and this is you. Like, I know that sounds, like, cheesy to say, uh, but, like, 
don't talk yourself out of it. You know, don't work yourself into a mental corner. Like, it's, like I said at, at the beginning, it's like it's about like having confidence in yourself and being able to, uh, to handle that in an appropriate way. Uh, and, and like, I think that you are already more than capable of doing all of that. It's just like, like I said, don't talk yourself out of it. Don't work yourself into a corner to the point where you're questioning yourself. Just like, be confident in you and be you. And like, cause I mean, that's what it takes, dude. Like, and, and that's not just for a manager position. That's anything in life, man. It's important to be confident in yourself. Um, it, even when you're unsure of something, man, like... I think you're gonna do just fine, man. I, I don't see the, like, you're already there. Like, you, you've already, like, proven yourself a, as capable of, of handling this position, doing the job, um, like, uh, being, like, like, more than just, like, a, a worker or a boss. Like, like you, I think you also have, like, a strong potential to, like, be a friend to all these people, too, right? Like, you're a very likable person. I think it's probably one of the reasons why they would can even consider you for that position, right? Oh, um, dude, I, you shouldn't question yourself. Yeah, man. I mean, that's that's gonna be one of the challenges that you're gonna have to face is like uh, dealing with that like uncomfortability, man. Um. Mm. You know, I don't know. It's just a it's a turning point in my career. But I was talking to my dad about it. Like, Yes, I, I see what you're saying, um, but I would I would probably say to, like, don't let that potential perspective of others change your perspective or where you where you stand. I think that um, you've already got the hard part over with, right? Like, it, you've already made the transition from, like, start to, to where you are now, right? So your perspective as to who these other people are now um is a comfortable perspective and if you're comfortable then so will the other people that are be, will be working with you it, if you have okay let me give you a prime example um the the job that i like uh, as, as a drop technician i came in the job fresh right brand spanking new and 
almost every single other person that I was working with, at least directly, had been there doing the job for a long time. They were all, they all knew each other. They were all comfortable. They were all cool, and they operated well. They all worked well together. Things got along great. Things got done. It was good. Um, and then the big wig that was above the area manager, he was brand spanking new. He had never been into this work before, and everybody could smell it, dude. Like, because he had no idea what was going on. He was clueless, and he made every single wrong decision in the book. Um, and, and I mean, by now he's gone, right? They, he was replaced already. Um, but because he was uncomfortable, because he felt like he needed to be this big fancy guy that everybody looked up to, that's not what it's about, dude. Uh, what it's about is you being you right now where you're at, and you're already good at that, right? Um, if you let that perspective switch, if you're like, oh, I'm the big wig now, I need to do this, that, that, and this. It's like, first of all, yes, you have, um, you have like a, uh, you have something to uphold, right? You have, um, you're supposed to be a good influence. You're supposed to be somebody to look up to, um, but you already are, right? So like, it's not a matter of like, I need to do this. I need to do that. It's like, no, you need to do you and and you're already good at that, right? Like, stay comfortable. Um, and, and even though it's, like, it's not possible to be comfortable and, like, clean and perfect all the time every day, right? Like you said, you're going to run into issues. That's part of life is the, like, um, we're always going to have, like, trials and and difficulties and stuff. And, like, that's good. That's healthy. That's how we grow. Um, but when it comes to, like others perspective of you and your position within whatever it is that you're working with as a, a manager or whatever. Um, don't worry about other people's perspective. Like, even though it's important to understand other people's perspectives, um, don't let that get to you. Don't let that change how you handle yourself and how you do things. Does that make sense? No, it does. It does. I know it's easier said than done. And it's like, uh, all these things are like things that probably don't even need to be said. They're already understood. Necessarily, like I'm sure there's some people like, for instance, on 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 the guy's shift that's been there so long. When I first come to the door and figured the people figured out that I was training with Dave, that they did go to that supervisor and they're like, man, that's messed up. They said you deserve that position. They, you should be training him. It was, you know, that the dean said no. He said I, I turned that down. He said I don't want that. I'm, so there's people that are not informed and in the loop that might at first hold this weird perspective or grudge inside the plant but the, on the other hand a lot of these people that would be working for me i have worked with them i've already you know earned their respect and, and then they, they've sent me like where my freaking tail off inside there and so you know uh, it's not necessarily they're, 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 we've already got that relationship built of uh communication between us and so i think if i potentially did get that it would it would really help whenever I was trying to communicate things or get things done. You know, there's already like a mutual respect built there. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, That's the hard part, man. Yeah. You've already yeah. like built the foundation to, to everything, right? Like that's the most difficult aspect of it all. Like, uh, I think that, like, okay. So like you've already built the foundation. You've already like gone through all these what I would consider to be the more difficult things. Um, what's left is also, I guess, kind of equally as difficult, but in a completely different way. It's like, it's just patience, man. Um, which is like always going to be a challenge for everybody to the day we die. It's like patience is one of the hardest things. And uh, you just have to maintain, man. Just keep being you. And of course, it's like, you don't want to be stagnant. You want to continue to grow and you're going to continue to change over the years as an individual, as a worker, as a, a manager. Um, but you want to make sure, uh, like, you've already got a clear path as an individual, regardless of your your uh, your job, right? Um, and like, I think that that is enough to say that like you're fit for the position that you're going to be in, right? Um, and that you've already got a, a compass, not just morally and ethically, but like 
um, in all these other ways to like guide you through it. Yeah. Um, uh, it, 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 it sounds like redundant, but like, bro, you're already there. after working like this week uh, on day shift and with David and with upper management, it's really opened my eyes on some things that we have got to get opened up a little bit on my shift, which is good because uh, I don't like, I mean, don't get me wrong, I've never been bored on my shift, but I did get to a point, especially because the, this year has been one heck of a year, man. I've had so many problems at work. I've had people out. I've had coordinators get hurt. I've had coordinators take so much vacation. I've, I've been busy with all this crap I've had to do. And so my freaking first three months of this this year has just been like a madhouse, man. And it has took a toll on me mentally because I haven't got to take that time to really get my shift where I needed it to because you know over Christmas break I really looked at some things that I really wanted to start working on this year and I haven't been able to work on them it's really been like nagging at the back of my head and on the uh, unconscious side it's kind of been like draining to my soul in a way uh, but this whole like week with David it just like revitalized me at what I need to do and so what I was getting at is this is the hardest part now for me is now that I'm off days, uh, well, I will be Wednesday. I got one more day tomorrow. Waiting for the next conversation between like me and David and Mark of another training potential session or a potential uh, offer at the job or an interview at the job. So, you know, that could look anywhere from one month, two months, six months, nine months, a year. I don't know the time frame. I'm sure they have an idea of it, but I don't. So, what I was getting at is going to be hard to go back to my shift and like be patient on this. But then, like, but then, like I said, I, I'm lucky because like next next three, next two, three weeks is going to be slam tight busy. And then I get all my yearly review stuff done, and I'm looking at like the next three months after that. I've really got some big goals that I've got some people in mind that I'm really going to start pouring every second that I have at work to developing them and pushing them to the next level just to really get that shift solidified and build up where I want it in case. Because don't get me wrong, the guy that would take over my position, he is a top-notch guy. He is fully capable of doing my job uh, at the level that I want. But they are a couple things that he does or habits that he has as a manager that I want rid of. And so he gives me goals to go ahead and set that shift up for success before I leave that shift, potentially. And so that'll help with the uh, that'll help with the patient side of things. Dude, you're you're an idiot, dog. <laughs> Why? Do do you even hear yourself when you talk, dude? Like, I don't know. you are the perfect person to take over this position. I I don't understand. I I know that like everybody has that like like how, why me how me like what what is what did i do type of deal like how am i like bro it, i don't understand how you're even questioning yourself every single thing that you just said like would have just like been like yeah he's a he's a candidate like how could you freaking say no to that right um like uh, you've got such a strong mentality of like be better right and, and that's like an already like a huge portion of of like not just being an individual, but like potentially taking over the position of manager. Right. Um, dude, uh, I mean, every, like, I, I don't have to tell you this, but like, uh, all these goals that you have set is like, it, yes, nothing's going to happen instantaneously. Nothing's just going to magically work. Right. Some things take time. And, uh, the fact that you've got nothing but problems, like, and you're handling them, and you're staying strong, and you're getting things done one at a time, and even in the worst of scenarios that you have been placed with, right, you're saying that this is one of the most difficult years you've ever had, they're still considering you for this position. They're still, they're training you right now for this position. 
Dude, shut up. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Stop stop questioning yourself, man. You should, dude. There's no reason why you shouldn't. Yeah. Monday, Tuesday, I was like living on cloud nine. I was like, yes. And then his shift rolled in, and you just have to see it. You just have to see Dean's reaction. And this one makes me think he did not turn down the production manager's position. And it's okay. It is what it is. I'm okay with it. If he didn't get it, they think I'm a better candidate. I think I'm a better candidate for that job, and I'm going to make the best production manager that anybody's ever seen. But yeah, that's the attitude. When I told him what I was doing, It sounds like you've got some really sharp superiors because, like, the the fact that, like, you being in... Well, okay, so I, I feel like anybody in that position, specifically the person you're saying is, like, a little shook that you're potentially training for that position. Um, anybody that doesn't make a position like that and gets shut down, uh, regardless of how they react, is, is obviously going to be, like affected some way or another right like you he wouldn't have been chasing after that if he wasn't interested to begin with uh, and if he was then like he was obviously not the right person for the job to start um but the fact that like he was kind of snuffed out and uh if he's acting a full I, I don't know what, what the exact situation is but if he's like being off if he's acting a fool because you're in that position then he wasn't the right person for it anyway right now consider that the roles were switched if you were trying to get that position and didn't right and somebody else came in and what like you know what i mean if you guys were switched shoes um i'm sure that like you'd have some distaste in you like there's no way you wouldn't have some level of distaste but it's about your composure. It's about how you handle yourself. And I, I think that that's one thing that you're very good at. And I'm not saying that, like, you know, you're unshakable. Everybody's got flaws, right? Um, oh, yeah. But you do a very good job at handling that kind of thing. Um, uh, I don't know, man. I, I don't think that there's any reason why um, you should be questioning yourself, dog. I, I think you got this in the bag. And even if you don't, man, like, you know just as well as anybody that it's okay, right? for me to say because I am so much of a passionate love to work man I love to work I love to get things done I love to turn buttons and push knobs get in there with my people and get dirty and like all week long I've had like this high vis vest on with a dress shirt and like I haven't gotten a speck of dirt on me all week and I'm like this is so freaking weird well I not I mean, obviously, the responsibilities that you would have on a daily would be a lot different than you do now if you were to get this position. But that's not to say that you don't ever have to work, right? And, like, one thing that I complain about constantly in any workplace is that people in the higher-up positions, like manager, supervisor, uh, wh whatever it is, they tend to, like, do that. They're, like, clean fingernails. They never get dirty. They never do the work. 
Um, the fact that you've been there, you've done the work, you are willing to do the work at any time. Like I would imagine that you get your dress shirt on, you're not going to care about getting it dirty. You're right. You're like you're going to be the person to step up and say, "Hey, just because I'm your boss doesn't mean I'm not afraid to like stand beside you and work with you." Right? And like that alone, I think, is enough to put you in that position of manager because that is there's a strong lack of that mentality when it comes to workplaces all over, dude. Regardless of the profession. Um, and that is something that people that you are managing are going to strongly look up to, right? Um, yeah. Like, if I've never in my life met a boss that is willing to, like, step down off his pedestal and work beside me, right? Um, so, like, I'd say that that's rare enough to, to be like, you're a freaking shoo-in. Um, I don't know, man. I started there as an entry level operator and has worked his way to supervisor to plant manager to production manager to assistant plant manager to facility started that entry level position worked his way up to a supervisor production manager of a smaller operation in the same facility and then is the acting production manager now potentially going to be the assistant plant manager? Same facility. Same as me. Started their entry level position, worked my way up to a supervisor, potentially going to be a production manager. And so when you just look at the all three of us, we all have the exact same freaking background. It's just, you don't find that in a company anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's not nearly as common as it used to be. I think, um, like, especially when it comes to these higher level positions, like manager, supervisor, whatever it is, they nowadays tend to require like a bunch of degrees and blah, blah, blah. And if you go, if you spend your younger years and your early life working for these degrees in some form of like college or education, although that's not been, it's not that it's not beneficial at all, but you definitely don't get the same level of experience and uh, understanding and um, just foundational building that you get if you start from the bottom and work your way all the way up. And it, yeah, it's not nearly as common as it used to be. And you see, look, man, education is incredibly important. It, But when it comes to a corporation, man, when it comes to like some company that no matter what they're doing, man, like as important as education is experiences too. Um, and I find that when I see like people that have no experience that have just jumped right in out of college because they've got a fancy degree and paid a bunch of money for it, like they tend to be some of the worst possible candidates for the job that they're being offered. And the fact that your whole company is kind of like built on the OG foundation of how things used to be like, uh, you, I don't know. Like I said, dude, I, I've never met any of your your workers or anything like that. But the way you talk about them, dude, they sound sharp. They sound like they know what they're doing. And if you're in the position that you're in now, if you're even being considered for it, when you're surrounded by people of that stature, man, like it, you're not just like some potential position. Like you're you're part of that foundation, dude. And like for them to turn you down. Uh, for them to say no would be a friggin' mistake, dude. Because who else would they bring in, right? Like, who else would be better for that position than somebody that's got, a, you know, a degree or, or, you know what I mean? Like, I don't see why there's any reason why you wouldn't get that position unless you got in your own way and said, hey, like, I actually am not interested in this for whatever reason. I pretty much already made my mind up that if I get a shot at it, I'm, I'm going for it. You absolutely should, man. I, I think that I think there's a lot of room for growth in it for you as an individual too. I, I think that um that it's gonna be so different um that you're gonna learn a lot and you're gonna grow a lot too, man. And like that's super important too. I, I think this like the way you talk about it, the the level of like um like desire and uh appreciation for that position, the the fact that you want it 
that that you're willing to go above and beyond, not just for your current position, but for everything else, right? Like, uh, dude, I think this would be healthy for you. Um, and, and I don't know. I, like I said, man, who better than than yourself? Thank you. I've been trying to tell you this. <laughs> Thanks, Skippy, dude. Yeah, dude, don't. It really has got me out of that weird where I was at a couple days ago. Absolutely, man. You know, I, I, dude, I think everybody has that. They like they they get in their own way. Everybody does it. I, I do it to myself constantly. I'm always in my Every single morning I wake up, I'm in my own way. Like, I got to shove myself out of the way and, like, get to, you know what I mean? Like, uh, dude, uh, keep doing you, man. Keep doing exactly what you're doing. You're going to make it. You're going to be just fine. Um, you just, you know, one day at a time. Um, and even, like you said, it's going to be, it could potentially be three, six, eight months down the road that whatever this is carries forward. Just be patient, dude. I know that's like the toughest part of it all, but you'll get there, dude. But again, like, like you said, like I told you, I have a, a very strategic, or not necessarily strategic, I don't want to get too crazy in my words. I have a very specific plan that I have definitely for like four, five, six people immediate, and then I have a, a secondary plan for some people upcoming that I really want to pour pour myself into right now and i really think that'll one it'll help me even further uh help my bosses see that i have the potential to motivate people to build people to build our our our, our people on our bench to where we need them to be and it i love i love doing it like i love there's a couple people that i've really really got I started working with them, but it's been I've been spread thin because of the, the vacation and the, the people calling out and people uh, my coordinators been out. So I've been very spread thin, and so like like I say, man, I have been doing everything I can do just to keep the wheels on. That's what a lot of times when a manager comes in, <laughs> how'd it go? I'm doing everything I do to keep the wheels on. Most of it. <laughs> All I can do right now, but they understand that I'm extremely spread thin, and that it's been a rough rough couple months, but. Uh, you know, looking forward, I've got some opportunity to free that up and really start developing, developing some people, and so that'll that'll really help the time pass. And uh, it'll make me feel good at the end of the day, man. When I see people learning, when I see people getting better at what they do, and and being able to make decisions on their own, and they can show the newer people how to make some of their decisions, like it just makes me feel good, dude. As it should, man. Like. Dude, there's so few people with that mentality in the world, man. Like, um, you, man, it, it's difficult because not everybody gets to that position of like mentality and, and like personal self growth that you are at now, uh, right? Even throughout their whole lives, like some people make it to to 95 years old and they still don't like to they don't get to that point of like personal growth and all that and uh like it, at this point it's less about like the challenge is less about the job it it, it really has nothing to do with the work the day-to-day -day. um it's more about like what can you give to others that you've already earned yourself right like because bro you've built it right you've developed yourself as like you've honed your yourself like you you're a good freaking person like i've known you for long enough to say confidently that you're a good freaking person and there's not many like people out there like that have been you as good as you are you right and like as a manager dude you you would be put in a position um with a much stronger influence on all sorts of other people um that you work with day to day than you would typically have on a, a daily basis right um and like your responsibility as an individual is is much less impactful as like your paperwork as a manager it's more of like how can you help other people grow and be better and like dude i, I think you're very good at that already um like you've made uh, uh, this is crazy like uh, we've never even met 
even though like we've known each other for a decade and I, I can't even begin to put into words the level of an impact that you've made on me as an individual. Like the fact that you've reached me like states away, like it means that like I, I couldn't imagine like the impact that you could make on all the people that you work with on a day to day, dude. Like, uh, dude, uh, you're you're there, man. All right, now, can you cry for me? <laughs> oh, buddy. Oh, I'm just, I'm giving you a crap now. Uh, oh, dude, I love you, brother. I, I'm glad that you called me. I, I always seem to learn something uh, when we have conversations like this. And, uh, yeah, man. Heck yeah, dude. Well, dude, it, it, you shouldn't have to call me for this kind of stuff because, like I said, uh, everything that I've said today, man, you're already there. You're where you need to be. But as you know, man, anything, uh, if you ever need to talk, you can just call me. I appreciate that because it helps me because I trust, I trust your judgment and I trust your analyzing situations. You're, very, you're, you're a very deep thinker uh, and you help me work through problems. You really do. <laughs> That's the least I can do, man. You've given so much to me. I'd like to give back any way I can. I appreciate it, man. Well, I hope you have a good rest of the night, and I will call you tomorrow when I get off work. Yeah, dude, you too, brother. Be safe out there, and, uh, you know, keep doing you. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right, man. See you. Later. Oh, dude. He's going to get me tearing up. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry about that. I, I know we're supposed to be playing Elden Ring, uh, but that was important, dude. Zach, man, Zach's one of my best friends I've ever had, dog. Um, there ain't nothing more important than uh, a conversation like that in life. Oh, where? This is where we left off. This is a tough fight. I might have to drop the runes. They're giving me problems trying to retrieve them every single time. I got so close to, to beating this guy when Zach and I were talking, and I, I just couldn't concentrate on the fight. I had to, to put pause on it. What is happening? Oh. 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 Okay, that's new. Dude, Matt, I don't know if you're still here. You're probably not still here because of that boring conversation. But, dude, uh, yeah. I shaved my beard, man. Sorry, man. I promise I, I wasn't, like, ignoring you. It's just, it's not even that many. It's fine. Excuse me.
this guy? I was doing so good, and now all of a sudden he's like half a mile away. need to not be there. I thought I could maybe kill him in time. I thought I had like one more attack in me. Nah. That black fire is crazy, dude. It's like Sasuke's fire that never freaking goes out, dude. Ugh. We'll get this guy. We're gonna get this guy. We're gonna put him down. And it's gonna feel good. It's gonna feel real good when he dies. solid heavies. So friggin' bullcrap. Maybe I should run into him. Like run towards him instead of strafing. I just try to like dodge the first few bolts of it and try to get underneath of him so his sword can't reach me. Cause that's when he goes for the sword attack, he doesn't use his beak. And his sword I don't think can reach my his like stomach. He uses his head when I'm close.
He's going down this time, son. Yes. That's that's a hard fight. The only reason why we got that is because I staggered him quickly back to back. That one felt good. That was that was a good fight. Oh, it's a spear. Check that thing out. That's really stupid looking. <laughs> That's such a dumb looking sword, dude. Uh, <laughs> yay, so glad I got that. Okay. I, I think it's about time we wrap today up, man. Right, we're going on 10 hours. Um, we have made an immense amount of progress. And we had a good time doing it. I think that, yeah. yeah let's just wrap it up right now, man. That'd be a good time to, to leave off. Um, but, uh, guys, I do apologize for the intermission earlier. I know it was quite extensive, but it was good. It was necessary. Maybe, uh, I don't know. I learned some things. I hope maybe you guys learned some things, too. Um, so thank you all very much for hanging out with me today. It was a blast. We had a good time. Um... Hopefully, I get to catch you in the next one. Um, I believe tomorrow is not going to be Odin Ring, but, uh, you know, just tune on in anyway. Don't forget to sub to the channel. If you want, you can check out Discord. The link to that's down below. And if you want to support the channel, you can do that through memberships and stuff like that. So I love you. And uh, hopefully I get to see you later, man.